Hello, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to the table. Uh, we are here to play some Avatar Legends. Now that we have a couple games going on, I keep forgetting which game we're playing which week, and it's <laughs> <coughs> my favorite problem to have. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, man, you know what I didn't practice, though, it was my recap voice. Oh yeah, we gotta get that announcer. The, 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 an the, the guy that was animating this the, the games last time. Mm. Yeah, the uh uh Mr. Announcer. Yeah. Which is his 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 legal name. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> First name Mr. Last name announcer. Not like just like in Republic City, something yeah. something yeah. like this. <laughs> yeah, but I, I need to have music playing before like it's not worth doing unless <laughs> uh, it's on Intrepid Heroes. I don't know, I can't do the voice. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do it right or else it's not worth doing. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Last time in Republic City! That's the one. <laughs> Perfect. A stolen vehicle has sent our detectives who aren't legally actual, that's not their job, they're just detecting things, uh, <laughs> across the many boroughs of Republic City. They found their way to the Eel Prawn Eatery where they had a quick buttery snack infiltrated the panda crab triad and as this one character whose name i have right here the flying bison <laughs> be masked as he is found his way back to the trashy place he found discarded pro bending mats in accoutrement and also some weird technical thingies but <laughs> by doing this he seems to have been found out. Uh, so FB, Flying Bison, you are... Uh, this is the wrong music. This is the wrong one. But this is what's playing. A crowd has gathered at the dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have, are... actually. A crowd has to beat, to beat the hell out of me. Yes, you're <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, several of these panda crab uh, thugs, right... Uh, in their leather jackets with the pictures of the panda crab on the back of them. Though you can't see them because their fronts face you. Look at this picture I'm painting. Uh, and some of them crack their knuckles or stand with their arms folded or do other uncoordinated uh, intimidating poses in your general direction. What do you do? Oh, okay, guys. Okay, listen, uh... You know, I all right. I'm I was just looking for our stuff, um, our mats. Listen, I don't even care about what happened to the van. I don't even care. I just I, we need this to do our pro bending, and if we don't, if I don't have it, then you know that's kind of it for my career. So, you know, if you're gonna throw it away anyway, I, uh, just you know, I mean, I could just take it off your hands for you. No harm, no foul. And uh, the leader, who is the chef that was talking last time but refuses to say a word this time. I don't remember what his voice sounded like. Looks to the left, looks to the right, and does this thing with his fingers to point forward. Oh, no. Uh, and we are going to start a combat exchange. Ooh! Oh, yeah. No. Starting in hot. Darn it. That's beating montage. <laughs> well, that's for the OnlyFans uh, account we have. Actually, uh, this is just this is just rolling dice and making up stories. Uh, okay, uh, I think you you roll a die, or you choose before you roll a die. Uh, so before you choose, wait a minute. I I choose with in secret and i don't tell you a lot of uh, and, and then um flying bison you are going to choose one of the three uh approaches you're going to choose your approach for combat i will attack advance attack whoa okay well unexpected uh things that you something that you might not have noticed last time but that forward finger thing also meant they were going to advance and attack <laughs> Uh, Looking back on it, makes sense. <laughs> why don't you roll with... What's advance and attack? I forget which. Skill. I got a button right here. That's what I'm going to yeah, click advance attack. Press, 
This, can button. <laughs> this is what I got. I got a button that rolls thing. Wow. Oh, baby. That is not okay. good. That is a three. That is a miss. Uh, on a miss, you stumble, but you can shift your balance away from center to use one basic technique. So if you choose, you can shift your balance away from center. Sure. Can I? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try my balance away down towards confidence. Okay. Um, and because this is like, I feel like this is confidence here. Yeah. Um, and I will uh, basic. It has to be a, of. A, sorry, it has to be. A, I'm confused. Is it of? It's just one of the advanced attack things I can do, right? Yeah, and it has to be a basic technique. You can't it, like a basic aspect. Well, I don't know anything that's not basic, so this is going to be. And, and you just use one of your advanced attack things. What does pressure do? I don't actually know what it, what do they do. I should probably know this, but I can't. This is, it doesn't. This is a great question. Just say Click it. on it. It just goes. There's no like. I uh, do roll. also. Okay, and pressure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll pressure. I'll pressure. Sure. And pressure intimidated foe. That sounds good. Uh, <laughs> so, so I'll stand there and say. Ear bending, final form, wind through the pines, and I just start doing like, like, ah, oh, he, and I'm just completely fucking faking that. I this is some like <laughs> final sure. level like air bending form. <laughs> uh, which approach approach do you want to stop them from being able to use in the next exchange? So. Uh, do I have to roll for this or something? No, it just works. Oh, okay, great. Uh, you rolled already and you took their shift away from I guess the... I don't them. want them to come inside the dumpster with me. <laughs> Are you still in so, there? I didn't get out of the dumpster. You're, you're I don't want to say I leave the dumpster. <laughs> near the trash area. Um, yeah, so you're so you're stopping them from advancing and attacking next time. That makes sense? I hope so, yes. I think that's <laughs> what my, my goal would be here, yes. Sure. Uh, that would be in the next exchange. However, in this exchange, uh, they're, they can definitely Ooh. just advance an attack. Um, Time to take off the trash. Matt is okay, like, no, yeah, no. working on uh, yeah, they're, ooh. <laughs> They are, as a group, just going to strike. They're not going to use any of their fancy things. <laughs> because they're a big group fighting against one guy, so how fancy do you really get in a dumpster? I want to just really, really pause that that we're we're inside yep. the dumpster. <laughs> uh, they're going to strike a foe in reach, forcing them to mark two fatigue, mark a condition, or shift their balance away from center. Their choice. Um, they are going to mark one fatigue to instead uh, choose to hammer them with your blows, forcing them to mark two fatigue or strike where they are weak, inflicting a condition. Uh, they are going to inflict a condition on you because they just, they're trying to overwhelm you. S afraid? Right, yeah, it's not scared, it's afraid. Afraid. Uh, so he, they are going to mark, you can mark the afraid condition. There's a big-ass group of people and you're in a dumpster. You are afraid. Uh, okay. Okay. That is the end of the exchange. I'm going to do a little bouncing back and forth between where this is going. Um, back inside the sorry, restaurant. So that's okay. Back inside the restaurant with the clangings of pots and pans and plates and other P words. Uh, <laughs> Say what? <laughs> no, I, was just, I, was, I was just doing an alliteration thing. That's all it was. Uh, Personnel. Pers Tickles. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's the one. Um, what are what are you guys doing? I guess is my my question. You guys are now. What do we do? It took you long enough to catch on the act. What? It took you long enough to catch on to the act. Oh, man! I knew immediately. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, you clearly. Did. Your ass was about to be handed to you on the silver platter. Hmm. Shouldn't have pulled me back. Would have knocked his nose off. Right, right. You'll have plenty of opportunity to impress everyone, I'm sure, but today was not it. So, w do we just wait, or do we leave and come back, like... Um... I mean... The van is not here. It doesn't seem no. to be. Alright, while you guys have your witty banter... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Um, back outside, 
Uh, they are going to choose their next uh, approach. They may not advance an attack, though. Um. Uh, so which one are you going to choose? I've, I've chosen. This is a lot. Okay. <laughs> I am going to... Um, I think that confidence now is like completely shat, and I'm like, shit, 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 shit. Um, so I'm gonna, I am going to. Oh man, there's so many, so many good choices though. Okay, I guess I'm gonna defend and maneuver. Okay. I think that makes sense. Uh, they also chose to defend and maneuver. Um. So yeah, seeing you like. They go and they strike at it, out at you. Um, I don't know. They're they they hit this dumpster so hard that it's scary to you. So you're scared now. Uh, it makes a big loud noise. Um, and oh, the music stopped for a second. It's back. Okay, <laughs> it's like flying bison closes the lid of the dumpster. Yeah. And it's all quiet. <laughs> and then opens it back up. Uh, but as you start to use your uh, wind bending uh, around the area, and they're like, "What the hell's going on?" And they, they kind of back up and get ready to uh, defend and maneuver. What are you going to do? I want to... Oh, well, ro I'm sorry. Roll to see, because oh. you might get to do multiple things. I'm for probably not. not. I'm probably going to like shit. But uh, defend and maneuver. A hit. Okay, okay, okay. So that means I can just do, like, a thing, one thing. Uh, On a hit, you can use one basic or master technique. Okay, so I will choose seize a position and okay. move to a new location. And what this looks like is um, I actually switched from my like fake airbending to actual uh, to actual like airbending technique, and I will start um, just like doing those like, like a circular kind of half moon um, uh, spiral kind of like defensive um, movement, but then at the as they're coming, or as they're, as anyone is uh, starting to approach, I'm going to attempt to basically, you know, guys, how sometimes in Star Wars movies, Jedi can just jump really high for no reason. Yeah. I really try to like force jump slash like Emperor torpedo out of the dumpster and onto the roof of the of the restaurant if I can, or onto like a ledge nearby. Yeah, nice. Uh, you have a high ground now. <laughs> Anna Bison, uh, as you jump out of this dumpster, uh, shooting detritus from your airbending around. But can I, but Matt, can I take the, the? Can I just tuck the the circuit board like easy, uh, easy with enough, me, or just like that one piece of it? Yes, definitely. Okay. It's a technical thingy, actually. Yes, it's it's it's. This is how technical, technically adept I am. It's one of those green thingies with all the little other metal thingies. That's on what I thought of when I when I was thinking. What <laughs> computers and toasters have? That's what I got. Uh, and and you have that in your pocket, and you uh, seize the position of the roof. I think I just take um, like a defensive stance, uh, a defensive stance up there. Do we hear any of this from where we are? Is there like a commotion? Um. Well, you guys stayed inside the restaurant and decided to witty banter, so yeah. you didn't have the chance to hear anything okay. uh, quite yet. Um. They okay, so they chose defend and maneuver, so they are going to. Uh, they are going to use the ready action. Uh, mark one fatigue to ready yourself or your environment, assigning or clearing a fictionally appropriate status of nearby characters uh, or yourself. So they're going to give themselves a status. They are going to give themselves the inspired status. Uh, um, and they they kind of get into a circle and you hear one of them go, hey, ready, guys? And they start going, panda craps, panda craps, panda craps. And they're oh, hyping God. themselves up. So they are now uh, inspired Great, because uh, I don't know what that does, so I can't. I'm not really afraid of it because I don't know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can clear the inspired to shift your balance towards a principle of your choosing, so they can choose to shift their balance. They're they're ready to do that. Um, back inside the restaurant, you hear the <laughs> slurping of uh, eel prawn 
bodies out of their shells. Right, Rasmus, the fishy smell is getting to my head. Can we wait for him outside or something? Yeah, let's get some air. Uh, and as soon as you go outside, um, you kind of look around because you hear what sounds like a bunch of guys banging on a ben, dumpster. Ben, ben, <laughs> and then some. Well, not yet. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm timelining this a little okay, bit different. Sorry, sorry. But you hear the boom, 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 boom. Um, what was of, that? Of dumpster banging. It sounds like it came from the back. I mean, what? from the back of the place. Isn't that where FB went? Let's go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, you guys hop over uh, the fence uh, and just run in the back as you see FB jump onto the roof. You, you kind of see him go and land and you lose him by saying, because the alley you're in is very, very tight. Um, and... Uh, you're looking around the corner and kind of see Panda crabs. Is it? Who's that? Uh, as you also enter. It's the Pikachu. Play. Oh shit! Sono, get in position. Abby, don't forget to keep your feet spaced out. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Sono. <laughs> um. Okay. So everyone can choose their approach. Okay, here's the thing, Matt. I have this thing, this move that I want to use, but I'm not sure I understand the phrasing of it all. Yeah. So for, before you can you choose which technique you're going to do. No, but that's the thing. I think I think this has to come first. If I understood the writing, fine, good. <laughs> you didn't. I don't Are think you so. Sure? Yeah. So the way combat exchanges work, the first thing you do is you choose your um what they call an approach yeah, but so you decided. either choose to you either choose to defend and maneuver advance and attack or evade and observe yeah but here this and it then says, it says at the start of combat exchange instead of using one of the standard approaches say what you do and, oh. pick a, and then i'm not going to spoil the rest because that's not fun but fancy okay so so you i guess that's a new one i didn't know about that one you can do that instead then that's what it sounds like but i Still, I'm not sure how to understand it, which is why I need your help to begin with. You need to tell us what you're doing. If you're well, yeah, you why, don't, why don't you click on it so it shows up in the chat, and then all of our uh, faithful viewers can also okay. see. I can't click on it, so I'll just copy-paste it. Sure. Uh, when you choose to use dirty tactics, uh, targeting an innocent, your foe is trying to protect, throwing sand in their face, etc. Uh, at the start of a combat exchange, instead of using one of the standard approaches, say what you do and take a 10 plus instead of rolling the stance move. Uh, you become favored for this exchange and may choose your techniques from any approach. Damn. At the end of this exchange, your opponent may call out your disgraceful behavior and lack of integrity to shift your balance twice. Oh, oh okay. So that's the, um, that's the kind of gambit you're making here. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so you're doing that. Yeah. Um, what, what dirty technique are you using as you come into this alley and these guys are panda crabbing in a in a circle? <laughs> well, in a circle. <laughs> I think I think you know the good old trick in the books. I take some pebbles on the ground and I uh, right at their eyes. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> How many guys is there? Like eight? Uh, there's like eight. And one of them goes, Owie! <laughs> Don't worry, I've got them. Owie! That hurt! <laughs> uh, cool. So you can actually use... You can choose techniques from any of these approaches, which is also a really cool thing. You, you are going to have to, sh at the end, shift your balance twice. Uh, do, I get to, uh, do I get to try to uh, uh, resist shifting or no? Let's let's do that at the end. I don't think you can resist ending. shifting against your own technique. It's well, technically, opponent may well, call technically out, the so. yeah the opponent is still calling them out to shift, so I think you can. Yeah. Um, but first, uh, Rasmus and FB, what approaches do you choose? Who, who's first? Like, how do you determine the order? Uh, you guys. I mean, you can act, actually you can chat about it to like strategize too. So okay. there's there's not really an order to choose. The only thing is I choose first for NPCs, and then you all can kind of chat. Oh, I'm going to evade and observe. Me too. I was going to say the exact same thing. 
Do I, okay. I go, I you guys are like crabs in a bucket. Tell him, Rasmus. <laughs> um. Okay. They're going all out because you're all here. So you're both evading and observe. Yeah. Except I don't know what any of the moves do. So. Well. Oh, if you that. click on it, like you said, the drop-down menu tells you. Drop um. If you go to evade, if you go under there, evade and observe. Just click the arrow, and it will show you what they do. Oh, the arrow. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Um, Eve, what is your character's name? Sorry, Sono. I'm gonna be Sono. Sono, uh, are you, so defend and maneuver comes first. They chose to ava- advance and attack. Are, do you want to use any defend and maneuver? No. Techniques. Okay, so we're gonna go right to advance and mm-hmm. advance and attack. Uh, do you want to use any advance and attack techniques? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so remember you. So technic. So you're treating this as if you rolled a ten plus. Okay. Which means. Solid. Uh, you can mark one fatigue to use a learned technique, but I don't think you have any. You can use a practiced technique. I don't know if you have any of those. Or you can use two different basic or master techniques. So you can choose. You can use two. I'm not sure I understood what you just said. You can. You get to choose two things, two techniques. Ooh, ooh, from the so you can attack. And yours is funky because you can use like one advance and attack, one evade and observe, oh, whatever you're feeling. Oh, that's dope. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, the, that thing you have is really cool. So the mm-hmm. first one I want to do is pressure. Okay, pressure. Impress or intimidate a foe. Choose an approach. Your foe cannot choose that approach in the next exchange. Which uh, approach are you stopping them in the next exchange? I want to stop them from striking. So it's actually the approach. So you're stopping them from advancing and yeah. attack. Yeah. Uh, how, what do you do to impress them? What do you do so to I, put pressure on them? So I think like, you know, Rasmus and Sono kind of walked in on this thing. And then there was the FB like at the top of the building, like looking down on us like plebs. And then we ran in and Sono, <laughs> Sono took some dirt path in the eyes of one while they were like panda crab panda crab and she made fun of that she's like one of you is down from a few pebbles and you think making a cute little dance will help you out intimidation bitch i'm a mean yeah. one <laughs> all right am i able to bolster or hinder this at the moment for my evade and observe no you are not uh it comes after that's a uh, evade and observe comes out it comes last oh yeah. I see. yep uh, Sono, did is did you want to use another advance and attack technique? Uh, what's in the environment right now? Uh, there's a bunch of trash. There's all of like the equipment for but your that's all I needed. bending Matt, stuff. That's all I needed. So, can there be trash in between us and them? Can I can I move some trash? Uh, you you can kind of like skirt to the side. I to get over where the trash is pretty easily. That's not a problem. And is that, that going to put it between them and us? Yeah, it's kind of all over the ground. It's not a very neat, uh, neat area back here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use smash to. Okay. Here, viewers, I'll let you know what smash does. Yeah, so you, you have to mark... So please mark a fatigue. Yes, sir. Uh, you destroy or destabilize something in the environment, possibly afflicting or overcoming a fictionally appropriate positive or negative status. I don't know how destroying trash is going to give you no. a positive status, but um, oh. you could possibly... Thank you for the follow could... light. Say thank you, guys. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you could... Uh, you could... I can imagine impair or s- even possibly stun them? Because here's the thing. What if I, like, I sidestep to put the trash in between us, and then yeah. and then Sono kind of, like, takes her hair, puts it on her left, right, on her left shoulder, and with her right hand, suddenly she goes, like, shoo! And this huge fan of fire kind of lights it all. And I'm hoping it's one of them is close enough to, like, maybe burn a toe or two. <laughs> Let's... Let's do this. You imp- you're imp- you impair them. Yes. Uh, impaired is you s- you're slow or off balance. Um, 
And for an NPC, it means they choose one fewer technique to use. So they can't. So okay. they can't advance an attack, and they can't use another one. So they can't. They cannot advance an attack next exchange. But this is still the current this exchange. One. Okay. And they are going to advance an attack, and there are three of you. This is a. Uh, I think it's called a medium-sized group. They actually get three moves. So okay. now that there are three of you here, they're going to use one against each of you. Um. So, but they can only choose two now because they're impaired. So they're no longer impaired, but a couple of them are like, whoa, as this like fiery trash uh, is like, like they, they're backing up from it. Um, uh, a few of them run off towards Rasmus and they are going to overwhelm you. Oh, actually... They're going to overwhelm Rasmus and Sono, because okay. overwhelm uh, is strike at every com combatant oh. in reach. So uh, flying FB is no longer in reach. He he seized a position. He's on the roof. Uh, all fo foes engaged with the group must mark two fatigue or one condition, their choice. So you can, so Sono and Rasmus, you can mark... Uh, to fatigue, or you can mark a condition. It's up to you. Just let me know what you're doing. I am now angry, people. I am also angry. <laughs> okay. You two are angry with that. Uh, a, f a couple of them jump up onto the roof. Uh, like, on either side of you. These guys um, look a little bit, like, slimmer, leaner in fighting than... Uh, than some of the others. And they are actually going to chi block you. <gasps> oh! My oh. people! Uh, so they mark a fatigue as they kind of do some flips that are unnecessary in this combat thing, but look kind of cool. And then... Uh, so your, I don't know, right arm gets popped and just hangs down your side by a limp noodle, you can use one fewer technique, and they're inflicting a condition. Um, you are also... Uh, you're impaired, is what it's going to be. So, for a PC, that means... Uh, you're slow enough balance. You mark one fatigue or take a minus two to any physical actions. I, so I had, sorry, I don't see, uh, uh, impairs not under the, my conditions. Oh, it's under. It's a status. status. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, oh God, there's, there's, those are two different things. Okay. We're learning. Yes. We're learning. Status is, <laughs> remember the first time we played this, Mike, uh, statuses hadn't been invented yet. Because oh have, right, that's why I'm the confused. Full rule set. Yep. Okay, so impaired means okay. So I will mark a fatigue. You don't need to mark a fatigue unless you're going to take a physical. Wait, so, I thought it said mark one fatigue or take it minus all physical actions. I don't want to take oh. minus all physical actions. Uh, so okay, no. Nope. <laughs> right. Okay, so you're going to mark the fatigue now. That makes sense. Okay. Um, oh, and then in action in the background. Yeah. So that's what they do. So that is one. They have one other. Oh no, they use it. They overwhelmed and they use chi blocking. Okay, uh, we are at the end. Evade and observe. Two of you, both Rasmus and FB, have chosen to evade and observe. What technique or a uh, roll? I guess you two roll oh, to see how roll. many techniques you get to choose, or which. What do I roll with? Evade and observe says roll with. Uh, if you just hit evade and observe, evade and observe, you roll with. In the combat exchange, where they're written like in a blue square, to click on one of those. I did, and it asked me what I'm rolling with: creativity uh, or uh, harmony. Yep, you choose. Oh, I choose. Okay. Whichever one's better. Yeah, sorry. Wow. Yep, you get to choose. So you both miss. We help each other. Um, <laughs> on a miss, you stumble, but you can shift your balance away from center to technique. To use what? Away from center to do what? To in order to use a basic technique. Basic thing. Okay, so if I shift further to force. As long as you're moving away from your center. Yeah, it's away from center. Um, uh, you can use do I have to choose one fewer technique because I'm impaired, Matt? So you I would do. get zero. Correct. Oh, wait, but oh. it says 
PCs and then slash choose one fewer technique NPCs. So does not not not, not apply to PCs. Um, I'm just looking no, at the impaired thing. Yeah, the, no, you're you're sorry. You don't have one fewer technique because you're impaired. You have one fewer technique because your chi was. Oh. Yeah, that's what if you go up to where it says chi blocking jabs, inflict a condition and render a limb useless. Uh, an enemy with one few fewer useful limb chooses one fewer technique to use in each exchange. So I don't have any techniques this exchange then. Correct. Do I still clear fatigue though because I chose evade and observe? Instead mm -hmm. of evade and observe, clear one fatigue. Yes, you do. Okay, so I would just I think my arms fucked. I'm like, shit, guys, I I don't think I can bend, and that's like, all I can do. Yeah. Neither can I, and I'll at this point pull out three my my Kali sticks and having multiple opponents will go into a whirlwind aiming at their kneecaps um, so I will try to do the hinder action to impede nearby characters uh, which is inflicting an appropriate status okay so you're going to try to hinder them so I kind of want to is that a basic technique? yeah bolster or hinder okay. oh yeah bolster I see it yep 100% so I'm so you're going to try them. to hinder them by giving them a negative status effect. Which negative status effect? A status effect. Wait, status effect or condition? Appropriate status. Yeah. Uh, status. Doomed impaired. Tr Can I give them trapped so that they're all kind of like stuck around me? Like pop each kneecap so they can't quite run and attack anyone else. I, I, I'm having trouble uh, buying trapped. Trapped is like maybe like you like catch trapped means you're, like you're caught in something you know you're okay. caught in a bear trap i have no idea what these mean so why don't you yeah. tell me what happens when i do what i did again um either impaired or stunned makes sense um uh, sure let's go impaired okay yep so they'll have one fewer technique to use yeah in, all right impaired. and then with that the i clear one fatigue right because we used evade and observe. Yeah, you clear on fatigue. Okay, sweet. Uh, and then because of Sono's weird uh, thingy she used. <laughs> right, I'm favored. That, what does that mean, by the way? Uh, if you are favored, you're buoyed by circumstance. Choose an what additional basic or master technique in the next exchange, even on a miss. Oh, shit. You can choose one other thing to do because you're favored. But a master technique? What's that? No, you could do another technique or a master technique. Uh, so yeah, basic technique master or technique. a master technique. So I can choose to do a... But I already did strike and smash. No, pressure and smash. You can choose a different one. You could choose an evade and observe technique. Wait, she gets three? She gets an extra one because she's favored. Oh, oh shit. my god. So she got she got two <laughs> because she rolled favorite. a ten. She rolled a ten plus. Gotcha. Uh, uh, and she's favored, so she gets an additional one as oh, well. Yeah, she gets to do a lot of shit. I will. Look, I would like to defend. I would like to ready so myself. So I think. So I think, like, as you know, she she like created this huge fan that took the the, the trash ablaze, and then she mm -hmm. straightens her back up. The flames are gone, and she kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so which one are you? Which one are you choosing? Ready. So I I mark minus one fatigue to me, myself. No wait. So mark minus... No, no. I mark one fatigue, but I get rid of a condition. Right? No status. No. Sorry, status. guys. We're learning. <laughs> we have no idea. And I okay. So what what are the statuses? Like, cause I I'm reading them, but I don't know what they do. Doomed, impaired, trapped, or stunned. I don't think you have a status though. I don't. No. But I can assign but a status. You you can clear it in yourself or nearby characters. But I can assign or you one. can assign a status as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You could clear my impaired. <laughs> That's what I'm hinting at. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, uh, but wait, no, because I don't know how she would do that. It's fire. I think your <laughs> impaired is, I think your impaired is gone because you paid the one fatigue call. Oh. oh well, so that's not like a static effect that just leaves? I don't think so. All right. So can I, can I, like, can I inspire, empower someone? Sure. But can you yeah. tell me what those do? Because I don't know what they well, do. Well, if you empower, 
No, you you, you can't empower someone. But it's empowered like is like someone. so it's empowered sad. is like if there's a full moon, water benders are empowered because water bending stronger than full moon. Okay. That's what empowered means. It's like there's a natural thing usually going on. So what you can definitely doing? inspire someone, uh, which means you can clear inspire to shift your balance toward a principle of your choice. Okay, what about favored? No, favored is what I have, so no. What about prepared? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're ready for what's coming. Clear, prepared to take a plus one to inappropriate role, or avoid, or avoid marking a condition. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So I, I think, good. so I think, I think, yeah, I do the little like, like this to taunt the enemies, and I think uh, FB sees that from up there, and he thinks I'm really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it gives him prepared. Ah, oh, okay. Sona, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, mark the mark that you are prepared. Yeah, statuses. I feel like when they're there, you can like when you use them, they go away. Kind of deal. You you, you do because yeah, they get cleared says, upon. They get cleared upon use. Clears. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's different. That's what makes them different than conditions, probably. That's what makes them different from conditions. Correct. Conditions stay until you do the appropriate thing to get rid of. Uh, okay. Uh, back to the top of the uh, combat exchange because these guys, uh, even though there's three of you and there's burning trash that smells really bad in the alley, uh, they are set on taking you down. They cannot they may, attack. They may not attack. Uh, Oh, but they are they I forgot they they test your balance at the end of that thing. So Oh yeah. You're 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 confusing here at the end trying to obfuscate <laughs> the fact that you're getting called out. Um Whoa! What are you doing here, lady? You're out of control. No, you did not. <laughs> uh, so they're trying to shift you away from control. Hey. Okay, so you are you chose to resist shifting your balance. Okay. Uh roll on a hit, you maintain your current balance point of the or deeds. Shift to ting. I think th I'm gonna make this call. You still have to shift one. Because yeah. they were trying to shift you two times. Like that's what your thing said. It would have shifted two places. Yeah. I think I still want because yeah. that Otherwise, you could just fucking use that every time. Because yeah. that technique Wait, would be crazy. Why does she get to resist? Isn't that a, yet another move? I don't think she wanted to resist that. Oh, I don't think you can. Because you, you can't use... Right, oh, no, it's a balance move. It's not a basic move. Balance moves are different. Balance moves okay. are outside of combat. Okay. So but, this is kind of like a... Yeah. So if I move one, do I still get to do one of the three things that a nine gets me? Like, clear a condition, shift your balance, learn what their principle is. Maybe not shift balance, because that would go, like, that that go against it, but... Uh, on a hit, you maintain your current balance. Uh, on a 7 to 9... Yeah, I think you still get to do one of those things. Can I... can I mark my final growth? Sure. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you're going to advance mid battle, but definitely okay. you can stick that in your back pocket. So how, how are you acting to prove them wrong? Yeah, because he said you're out of control. You have to. Yeah, you have to. You gotta RP this. How? You can't just grow going? for no reason. <laughs> Not a plant. I think. I think. Uh, I think as they say that, Sono had like her arm back. The the one with burn marks, and she was fully ready to just, like, create this huge fan of fire dirt way directly at them. And as I say that, she 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 kind of lowers her hand, her eyes go wide, and then she just puts her two two arms behind her back, and she looks at them defiantly. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Um, okay, at the top of the next exchange, uh, oh, what... Oh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Do I switch towards control or towards... No, c towards connection, right? Away from control. Yeah, so towards connection. But that puts me back to center. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, they just wanted... They were trying to, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Based okay. on the fiction, they, they were saying you're acting out of control. Okay, so I was bet. shifting you away from control. Bet, bet. Uh, what... It's not technique. What approaches uh, are you guys going to choose for the change? Attack. 
Okay. Attack. Advance and attack. I'm going to uh, evade and observe again. Okay. And Sono? Defend and maneuver. You're going to defend and maneuver. I love it. Everyone's picking something else. Um, Sono, you are the only defend and maneuver person. Which technique are you going to choose? Lure, motherfuckers. This one's a special one. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I can't click on it, but it's in my character sheet. Do you, it, there's a Y at the beginning. There's there's a Y at the beginning. <laughs> uh, you put a foe off balance by luring them in. Name a foe you lure. I guess this group of guys, because they're your foe. The Panda Crab Triad Group. <laughs> uh, if they don't attempt to either inflict fatigue, conditions, balance, shifts, or negative status effects on you by the end of this exchange, they must Ooh. mark two fatigue. So you're, it's kind of calling them out to you. Cool. Uh, if they do attempt to harm you in this exchange, you become favored for the next exchange. I, I think cool. it's the whole fact that, you know, she put her arms, arms behind her back, so they see yeah. her as this perfect target. That's awesome. I love it. Um, I, but by the way, just just to make sure I'm not cheating the game right now, is it normal that I have this technique in my book? Like, I didn't do anything to earn it. It was just there. Uh, it's it probably LP based on your uh, uh, playbook. Okay. You know what I forgot to do is have you roll, though, to make sure you can do that or, or anything at roll. all, in fact. Let's... Yeah. What? Him, motherfuckers. <laughs> pick, pick a second. You do that and pick a second. Oh one. wow! Uh... Or um, yeah, because you don't have any learned or practiced techniques, right? Well, I'm gonna com combine that with retaliate, which means that okay. if they do attack me, they get one fatigue. Yeah. Holy hell! Look at this. That Holy is. Chest. I'm so. Busy. That is. <laughs> awesome. Genius. I love it. I love it. This is how you're supposed uh, to play this game, right? This is it. <laughs> nice. Tutorial. Well, one of the reasons I'm like, let's do a full battle at the beginning of this, because we have to know how battles work. So yeah. this is... <laughs> uh, Rasmus. All right, you are the just only advanced attack person. Popped a few kneecaps. Uh, let me roll here. All right, I got an eight. So, so one other question, Matt. On the balance board, there's like a plus two, minus two thing on where I'm at. What plus two, minus two to what? I didn't follow the words you just said. Walk it through you me again. The, the balance board in the middle where there's like yes. the two koi. And the one that I'm on has a plus two and a minus two. Oh, okay. Let me person. let me pull up so I can look at your character sheet. So we're looking at your balance. Yeah. Uh, you your... The care says yeah. the black one says minus two and force the white one says plus two. Yep. So see how it's black and white? Yeah. So if you roll with care, you roll minus two. But if you roll oh. with force, you're plus two. So what's force? How am I rolling? With, is attacking rolling with force? No, no. That it's a bat. Oh, that's only if you're doing a balance. If oh okay, if I'm doing yeah, a yeah, balance. Yeah. Okay. So. Yep, because it's the, all based on your balance. But I will say you're getting fairly close to going out of balance towards force. Yeah. So just just to keep that in mind. I'm being pushed. Don't say it like it's my Don't fault. Push me. <laughs> All right, so we roll an eight. This means that I can do my attack. Uh, you can use a uh, basic or mastered technique. So you may not use your practiced technique that I know you have. Yeah. You may not use your chi blocking, but you can All use right. another technique. Yep. I'm just going to use a basic strike at the moment. So strike a foe and reach force them to mark minus two fatigue, mark a condition, or shift their balance away from center, their choice. Um, or you can you can mark a fatigue to do more badass shit if you want to um, mark as well. Totally up I to you. will do not want to mark a fatigue. No. Okay, I'm just gonna. So, how he sticks in hand, uh, seeing Sono doing some evasive maneuvering and luring in uh, with with her arms behind her back. I'll wait for one of them to look away for a split second, and I'll crack him on the collarbone. Uh, they're gonna move their. Um, they're gonna shift away from center. They're going to, sh yeah, they're going to shift their balance away from center as you're like, as now they're like, they're a group, but they're kind of like split up. They're not, you know, all in a circle doing their crab thing anymore. Your circle crab. Yeah. Uh, so that is what they are going to. Um, and that ends yours, right? I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, FB, 
please roll for uh, roll with either creativity or harmony, your choice. Why didn't it make, why didn't it make me pick when I clicked to roll? It just rolled. Because evade and observe is the only one where you. Oh, okay. When you roll defend and maneuver, you always roll with focus. When you roll advance and attack, you always roll with passion. Got it. Uh, that is a hit. You may choose a basic or master technique. So normally I would have zero still because I'm still impaired, right? No, you were impaired last time. You already, I, you, right? Yeah, you already. Um, so oh no no no! Last three. Straight. It was the it was the chi block. Yes. So you do have one less because of the chi block. You're muted, Mike. Oh, you quieted again. Sorry. <laughs> so I'll I'll uh, clear the repair to turn into a ten. Uh, hundred percent. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And I am going to um, nice test thing. balance. I'm going to call it Lee Chef. What is your principle? <laughs> okay, you mark a fatigue to challenge an, uh, an engaged foe's balance. Ask what their principle is. <laughs> they must answer honestly. That's right, I'm making you talk as this character. I'm um, forcing you to verbally speak. <laughs> mm, yes. Uh, and the Legion, I love you said not just one random guy. No, no, um, I'm, I'm no. saying specifically the leader, yes. the leader type. Uh, he, can't, he looks down and looks at you and whoosh, it goes across his eyes. As, I am loyal to the Pentagram Triad. Uh, loyalty <laughs> is his principle. <laughs> Uh, is that all it does? Does it do another thing? Uh, oh, no, because if you already knew it, you could shift there. But you know it now, so that could... Later. Okay. Uh, so it is their turn. They can do uh, three techniques. The first one they're going to do is coordination. Uh, the group sets itself up to launch a concerted, skilled attack upon its targets next exchange. The group becomes prepared and favored... No and make clear to fatigue or a condition. In addition to the one fatigue normal for evade and observe. So they just, they clear three fatigue. So all of what I did goes to the window. <laughs> so they're a medium group. Are we a small group? Do we have group shit we could be doing? Uh, no. It's only NPCs no. that get group stuff? Yeah, group stuff is we lost them. Is really when you're fighting like a horde. Sorry. Yeah, group stuff is kind of like think about fighting a horde, right? Like yeah. they all kind of count as one bat right now. Okay. Uh, so they are going to use hinder twice, and this is what happened. The chef, uh, upset that he's his loyalty is being called into question. Uh, first is going to uh give you the trapped position the trapped status as he grabs you by the shirt and like you, you can't let go and you try to fight him off with your right arm still a limp noodle and then there he is going to wait use... wait hold on the, the chef's not on the roof with me though oh whoever is that one of the other guys loyal to the uh chef uh and so you are in the trap position and then they are going to put you in the doomed position from that because he then holds you out over the edge of the roof, looking back down at flaming garbage below. Oh, so you're, no, you're, I did that to you. <laughs> you are suspended above flaming garbage. You are doomed. You're in grave danger. Mark one fatigue every few seconds or each exchange until you free yourself. Um, You might get freed very quickly, though, <laughs> if your friends help. Uh, let's do... Let's let's go with one more exchange and then we will see where we are with this. I will say right now because they did that their coordination, they um have no fatigue any longer. Yeah, we can't win this fight. They cleared all three fatigue. Well, if you guys do a concerted effort to attack them, you could definitely um but their their uh difficulty level <laughs> if we were doing something like that is not something that can overwhelm you you can also very well run away or make them run away just right now they are definitely not at a place where they're running anywhere because mm -hmm. 
at this point, they're... I mean, the flame's getting kind of close to their building, so they take care of that soon. But uh, fight-wise, they're doing okay. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do one more exchange. Uh, I am everyone favored for this exchange because of the lore. Well, you are favored? Yes. Hashtag favored. Lure. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you get so whatever you do, you get to choose plus one, which is nice. That favored one's really good. Defend and maneuver. And Oh, what happens because they didn't attack you? Nothing. I thought no, if they didn't attack you, something happened because uh, if the they do you attempt used. to harm you, you become favored. My bad. My bad. I'm not favored. Yeah. What happens? But what happens if they don't? There was uh, definitely something. They must mark two fatigue. All right. So I'll mark two fatigue on them because they didn't attack you. Yeah. All right. So that's considerably less. Ah. Uh, considerably less good for them. They wouldn't have I did zero something good. To to yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I knew there was something that you did that. Yeah, like, was trying to pull, pull them in your attention. Uh, but this guy really didn't like getting called out on loyalty. What happens if your fatigue fills up again? Uh, then anytime you need to mark fatigue, you mark a condition instead. And how do you clear those? Uh, we'll worry about that after combat. After yeah, we can't worry about combat. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I figured you couldn't clear them during yeah. combat. I was curious. Uh, so... Sono is choosing Defend and Maneuver about FB and Rasmus. I'm also choosing Defend and Maneuver. Attack. Okay. I have one button to click. And it's... Uh, they also chose to Defend and Maneuver. So... Uh, Sono and FB can roll for Defend and Maneuver. Full hit, motherfucker, so I choose Beautiful. another one? Uh, so, yeah, you choose a total of... Oh, they no, you're sorry, you're not favored. So you choose two, two. and FB chooses one. Can I... Can I... Mm, so th what I wanted to do, okay? I don't know how that's going to play out, but my goal was to, like, kind of rock climb on the wall, right? And kind of, like, ex like kind of stay there, like, hanging on the ledge, extend a hand to, to FB so that he can actually fall from a not-so-great height. Okay, so you're trying to... Let me know if I hear this correct. You're trying to seize a position. Yes. In, from which to help FB. That yes. makes perfect sense. Yeah. So I think the side of this building is all shiplap, right? Yeah. And you, So you just jump up and you're like these boards are like half hanging off. And you're like precariously <laughs> hanging above the burning fire, uh, holding on to it. At a point where if FB starts to fall, you can reach him. Yes. Uh, you can choose one other technique as well. Does it have to be defending maneuver? Yes. Uh, retaliate again. Okay, so. So if they strike uh, each me, time they have to mark a fatigue. Well, not if they strike okay. me. If they try to inflict fatigue a condition or shift my balance, they have to get a fatigue. Okay, makes sense. Uh, and then FB, what do you do? I can't do anything. I'm still impaired. So I'm just like, mm, fuck. Oh, guys, I think yeah, this, this is for me. This is the last time you're impaired. Well, I don't think it's going to matter because I'm also but. going to mark another. So I marked three fatigues from trapped uh, to escape that. But then well, you went, I also need to mark you, a fatigue from doomed. So when you went from trapped to doomed, so trapped doomed, I think, is like a higher level one because doomed is pretty you're fucked. <laughs> It's kind of what doomed means. So don't... I think you're doomed instead of trapped. Does that make sense? So uh, don't mark the fatigue level. from trapped. Like, I'm yeah, doomed. Sperry. I thought they inflicted both on me with that. I don't think someone can just inflict doom. So think of D&D. &D, you're restrained and then you're... The other one? I don't Paralyzed. know. But how does it say... It says mark one fatigue every fatigue until you free yourself. But still need to mark a fatigue for that. 
Yeah, so just mark the one for doomed. Don't mark the three for trapped. Because you're because okay. you're not escape because you're not escaping, right? He still has you there. Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely not escaping. I'm still looking yeah. <laughs> yeah, do anything. Can't do it. Like, arm, can't do I'm it. like fuck my like arm. It's okay. Um, yeah, yeah, you're you're starting to feel sensation in your fingies again. Start <laughs> <My> bending up. <laughs> uh okay, they are going to do their defend maneuver techniques. Uh, they seize a position, and all of the rest of them jump on the roof. Wait, I'm alone on the ground now? Yes. <laughs> they get away from the fire and jump up on the roof. Uh, they choose to retaliate as well. Um, and they are use ready. Like, so now they're all kind of in a huddle. And they're not all doing this, but, like, one guy in the back. Because he's, like, the hype man. Uh, and they're going to be prepared. So they're all together. They're on the roof. And they are prepared. Uh, and... Rasmus. You right. are up with attack. Advance. Advance and attack. Uh, roll with passion. A hit. Right, we get a nine. On a hit. Um, Raz is going to see that everyone is ditching him. And feel empowered by that. Emboldened. He'll clap his cowie sticks together and go, You stupid crab pandas just don't get it! Where's our goddamn van? And he'll run up to the burning trash barrels uh, and use the smash technique to uh, in take one fatigue and start destroying or destabilizing something in the environment. Taking the lit trash barrels and throwing them against their um, restaurant, kicking in the kitchen door and throwing a burning trash barrel in there nice. uh, to try to get them uh, that is that is great. That is great. Uh, and they are definitely flustered, though they are prepared. They are flustered by you doing this. Um. Uh, okay. At that, uh, they are going to shift their attention away from you guys a little bit and like concentrate more on their business burning down. Uh, do, are you guys going to keep pushing the attack or are you going to allow them to Police. Well, what, what, if my answer is I'm trying to protect FB, does that mean I'm encouraging the attack or no? <laughs> I'm not leaving here without a van. Well, do you want to go back into the exchange or do you not want to go back? I guess is the... Well, if I mean, I'm currently being held over yeah. Yeah. the burning pile of trash being dangled over. So I don't know how many choices I have. In the exchange, then I am too. I don't really okay. see how we're out of the exchange. There's like... Yeah, give me, uh, give me the, the, whatever it's called that you're choosing. The approaches. Um, are you able to do a basic move in a battle, in an exchange? No, you are not. You're not, okay. Um, I'm evading and observing. Okay. I'm going to attempt to, uh... Defend and maneuver. Okay. So no. Oh, I said defend and maneuver. Sorry, I thought. Okay, sorry. you did. Sorry. No, it's all good. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Matt. My smash thing was supposed to inflict a fictionally appropriate negative status. Is that? Did you inflict that on them? Uh, I did not. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Uh, let's let's say that they're stunned. They're stunned by what happened. Uh, and what I'm going to do for that is give them one less technique to choose. Sweet. As like a couple of them are trying to deal with like trash fires. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh. Let me see. Uh. F B and Sono, please roll for defended maneuver. So I did already roll for it. Sorry, okay. it's in the chat. That was okay. the eight. I, I keep 15? pulling, man. Holy shit, 15. You, I told Plus you, three. put me in a fight. Put me in a fight. <laughs> uh, FB, you can use, you are no longer cheap. You're, you you can use it now as you Okay, so I can use one technique. You can use one technique. Okay. I'm going to use seize a position. Yeah. And as I get my, my bending back, I'm going to just, the guy who's holding me, I'm just going to grab his arm. And I'm going to say, hey, buddy, I hope you can fly. And I'm going <laughs> to lean back off the roof 
kick into him with two legs and backflip across the roof and try to slam him down onto the pile of trash when he hits first, just like a pro wrestler would in <laughs> this exact situation. So I want to flip back and basically have him land on the flaming trash and use his body to cushion my fall. So in game terms, I am... It says engage or disengage with the foe, overcome a negative status or danger, establish advantageous position, or escape the scene. Um, I would like to disengage with this foe by trying to sure. take him over the roof with me. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let, but let me just... any foe engaged with me can mark one of you to block this technique. Uh, they are not going to. They're going to let you do that. Going to let me uh, slam their guy under flaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not hurt by it. He's sad about it. I guess. Only his I pride. Know. Yeah. Um. What? Uh, does E Sono do? What does so I, I Sono think, gets two? I think since earlier Sono was hanging by one arm and like extending yeah. the other to FB, so she sees him like flipping back and she kind of goes like, "Is he serious?" <laughs> and she she seizes a position okay. and she kind of so she has one arm there. She puts one hand on the wall and she uses her leg to push herself away, backflip to right over to safety because mm -hmm. backflips are cool sorry <laughs> and then and then i okay. i i just i get a free technique so i'm just gonna retaliate in, in case they really do want to hit but i don't think they will but... sure uh, a couple of them jump down and are like it's trash it's too close to the building and they start like moving the trash away from the building uh, uh uh they are none too happy about what is happening uh, so they are going to uh, they are gonna overwhelm and they're gonna are you straight rolling for them uh they don't roll they don't roll okay. it's based on the the size of their of the group how many take we get. uh so they are going to overwhelm they strike at every combatant in reach, which I think is all of you. As they're do one of them is like pi punching up at FB that's standing on him. Uh, you must either mark two fatigue or one condition, your choice. Well, they get one fatigue if they hit me, so. Okay, so I'll mark two they, fatigue. <laughs> they do attack, so they'll I'll mark the fatigue for them. They currently have three mark fatigue. I am now also troubled. I'm going to be insecure because I don't think we're <laughs> imagine <laughs> we're uh, winning this one here. Um, and one of them looks at uh, Sono and is like, "You uh, you can't lay fires. This is like a, a place of business." And is going to strike out against you. Plus one fatigue. Uh, they're actually going to mark two fatigue because they're going to mark an additional fatigue to um, force you to mark two fatigue. Well, I am now guilty because I lit fire to a public establishment. <laughs> <laughs> I, so your fatigue is full? Yes. Okay. So I marked and all you mark it when it's full. You can, you mark your last fatigue and a condition. Yeah. Okay, sounds perfect. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Guys, I know I can't say I'm about to die because you don't die in this game, but I'm not doing good. I'm at one. I'm at four fatigue myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they're they're looking around. And things are looking pretty bad. You hear from inside. Uh. uh Eel prawn eatery. Hey. What smells like smoke? <laughs> How has no one called the cops yet? Uh, evade and observe. I think that is Rasmus, right? Yes. Let's see what happens here. Oh, uh, shit. I keep forgetting that I have to roll terrible stats for this. And it's a six again. So you can mark a fatigue in order to use a... Or... Or you do nothing. Uh, or you can guys, not watch fatigue and not do it. Backing anything. away from the flames starting to catch this building. I think we gotta run. They're not telling us where the van is. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think we should have run a while ago. Uh, are you guys entering another that, exchange, or are I'm you just gonna? I'm ready. To throwing leave. the Cali no. sticks I'm and. To I'm gonna enter another place. exchange. Huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyone? Anyone that would like to enter another exchange, uh, tell me what approach you're taking. I. I, I think. Hey. I think. No, because I think Sono is literally on her way to hop the fence, and she looks back as FB does whatever it is he does. <laughs> I'm gonna smash. I'm gonna advance. I'm gonna advance an attack. <laughs> okay. You're what about um, Rasmus? Are you? Yeah, I, I have to stay. If FB is staying, I'm not. I can't run before FB. You kidding me? Sure. I will also advance an attack. Okay. Uh. Oh, I clear okay. one condition or one fatigue because I evaded and observed. So, feel a little bit. Yeah, they are at this point going to evade and observe, and I'm. Oh my god, that's a. <laughs> uh, they are going to only use two techniques. Both of them are really worried about this fire that is caught in the back of the building and uh, is spreading to the kitchen now. Uh, so you can both roll for advanced attack. Come on, baby. All right. A full hit. Beautiful. Let's go. Ooh, and the miss from FB. Uh, FB, would you like to mark a fatigue in order to use a basic technique? I would. So I mark um, another fatigue, which was at five fatigue, which would take me yeah. out. Except for the fact that one of my abilities, one of my class abilities, is not done yet. Ooh. And when I mark, um, once per session, when I'm taken out, I can shift my balance towards center to stay up for one more combat exchange. After that combat exchange ends, I become helpless, unconscious, or otherwise incapable of continuing Whoa. on. So I make you serious go, oh, that really hurts. And I'm like, and I just picture my dad just being disappointed in me. I'm like, no, not today. And I'm going to sprint into the building. And I am going to smash. I'm going to start airbending. And I send all of this cutlery into the butter tank to spill the butter on the floor towards the flame to catch the butter on fire and burn this fucking building you down. You are evil! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the mother of uh, this giant pot of butter. <laughs> for a split second, you have that delicious smell of browned butter and immediately, and you're like, the most beautiful cookies in the world, immediately engulfed uh, as a flame over kitchen so not only does it first catch the butter they don't clean this place that well guys uh there's all the grease and everything just catches and you hear whoa there's a fire as people just start um running as quick as they can towards the exit uh many alarms? many eel prawns uh going up in flames uh excellent use now of i do want to say does this count as my legacy of excellence? One of my drives is to pull off a ridiculous stunt. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come uh, on. <laughs> I'm going to go with yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. And Rasmus, you also uh, are advancing and attacking. You have two techniques to use. I had a full hit. Um, so... When fighting a group, what happens to my chi blocking technique? Am I able to use it on multiple people? Or? Yeah. Okay. They so would choose the one fewer technique is what it would come down to. Yeah. Okay. I guess I don't know if that's really helpful. I'll, I'd rather kind of go for a knockout right now if possible because they seemed a little bit fatigued. So. They are fully fatigued. They have no conditions marked, but they are fully fatigued. I will go with strike. And since I hit a full hit, can I strike twice? You can. Okay, so I will mark two fatigues for each of this one one fatigue for each strike to hammer right. them with my blows. So um, having experienced the bit of cowardice and then seeing FB continue the fight, uh, Rasmus comes back renewed, enraged with his Cali sticks. And uh, first he flings a bunch of trash lids at the dudes putting out the fires. Then he enters the fray, smashing knees, collarbones, foreheads, noses, whatever appears in this way so uh as you hit them since their fatigue is full uh they have to mark two conditions right from this thing 
uh, because you're doing that, they only have three conditions. They don't have as many as you guys. So at first they become angry at this attack. And then they become afraid that they're going to lose. And then the last one, they feel guilty at letting down (laughs) the panda crab triad. (laughs) To a bunch of kids, loser! (laughs) Where's Uh, my van? (laughs) But they can still use their techniques because they don't they're not taken out until the end of the combat exchange. And they are evading and observing. Okay. So uh they get to clear one fatigue, but technically you <laughs> inflicted one more than they had, so they're still at Um And They are going to So they have two techniques to use. Oh, they can't test balance because they can't mark one thing. Well, I'll, how's this? They, they use coordin- coordination to do that thing where they get rid of some fatigue, but then it fills back up uh, so that they can test balance one time. All right. uh, and they're going to look at FB now uh, this time who uh who's burning down a building with people inside of it, right? Uh, And I don't, your loyalty and confidence. What is this? Uh, Yeah. So are you at your center right now? I am. I moved back towards my center with that, with that last, with that uh, last one. Yeah. So they look at you as this thing, like the, fire burning in their eyes with the close up uh, as they say you you're really proud of yourself ain't you <laughs> look what you've done here uh, and he's they're attempting to um, move your balance towards confidence away from center and towards and I, and I look back and I say yeah man I love crab cakes I'll take the confidence. <laughs> yeah, you move towards confidence, and at the end of this exchange, they go, "Let's get out of here, fellas!" <laughs> and I drop unconscious at the burning building. <laughs> yeah, uh, as the they're running room. away, FB no. sw- sways and falls down on the ground, unable to. Move. Uh, you are all in the middle of really stinky burning fish trash doesn't it was already smelly guys then you set it on uh as people are running away from this burning building uh what do you do i'm gonna i'm gonna put i i run back as i i try to climb the fence and then i look all of the disaster happen and i run to fb like throw him over my shoulder and then i run back to the gate <laughs> Come on, Rasmus, let's fucking leave. I mean, no swearing. This is family friendly. <laughs> but what about this? What about the mats and stuff? Where's the and the van? We can't just leave. Do you <clears throat> look around you? We're leaving. Fine. Then Raz will run after Son. Can't you just fire bend this fire out? What's even the point of it? Fighting fire with fire is not a thing. <sighs> you leave uh, behind the mats, the rink. The ropes, probably all the stuff, right? Uh, that uh, make up your nomadic pro bending accoutrement. Difficult as it was to find, not having found the van that they had previously been stored in. Mission where, failed. Where do you go? We gotta hop on my bike and uh, get the hell out of here before the cops show up. Yeah. Yeah, you you throw FB into the, the little, little sidecar. Side car. <laughs> did, With did his I, legs and his arms sticking out of it. Like, just I his tra- ass is in the car. Do I know you guys well enough to have a track called Burning Village prepped? Yes. <laughs> oh, <did>. yeah. <laughs> um, where are you, so where are you heading? Sorry, I think you might have told. So we, I just hit the gas to get the hell out of there. Um, and then when we're, I don't know, several blocks away after like three, four minutes of driving, I'll pull over. Where the hell are we supposed to take him? Should we, should we find Okta? What's wrong with him? Who? 
Atka? Is that her name? Atka? Whatever. Is that her name? Oh, no. You only met her once. Jeez. <laughs> She's my best friend. What's her name? Gosh darn it. Yep, yeah, Atka. You got Atka. it. Atka. Uh, yeah, and I, I can start giving him directions to Atka's voice. Sure. Uh, you know, she is the healer. It would have made sense had I paid it enough to know where the hell she was going to Uh, well, oh, good. What an opportunity to throw in another neighborhood. Let's go. Ooh. Can we get the map back on the screen or whatever? I, um, I love the panda and the crab, but... There's a picture of a panda and a crab car, gentlemen. They're really good. The uh, crab's, like, delicious looking. I don't know about that, but... I didn't ever have... I, I never had a map. I never had a map. Yeah, Isn't there, there was never a... a map. No, there was, there was this. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah. You want to look at that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I'd rather make a uh... and crabs. <laughs> Well, okay. Well, here, here's the go. There's the picture. Okay, there. Right. It's like a map, right? It's yep, like perfect. a map. No, uh, if anyone uh, in chat has a great, useful map of Republic City, I found great ones of, like, the Avatar worlds, but for some reason, the Avatar, um, instead of the, the Republic City uh, setting book, does not come with a map of Republic City. God That's like a niche, the niche that has to really be filled by someone. Interesting. Uh, yeah, somebody, oh, yeah, somebody a, that's a good map maker. Sorry, I'm unconscious. Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, Atka lives in Old Cranefish Town. Is that far? It's, I don't know. Okay. I don't have a map. I don't know where everything is. I just know what the places are called. Uh, Old Cranefish Town is a bit more, it's kind of like the, like an artsy sort of district. Uh, there's you know, a famous opera house. The Red Wing Opera House is here. Uh, there's, like, luxurious springs. Atka comes from money. Not uh, her own, right? But has a little bit... You know, she, she, she's got a little bit of a, a little bit of cash money in her family. Uh, oh. Her parents have been in the theater. Right? They, they've, they've done pretty well by themselves. Patrons of the art. Um... It's like the movie The Producers, but less anti-Semitism. Uh, and you pull up to her house, which is, it's large, but no, certainly not a mansion. Uh, nothing like what Rasmus's family lives in. Uh, there is, like, the, the one butler that, as you knock on the door, uh, looks at, uh, at you as you, like, push your way past him into the house house, you know, recognizing um, recognizing Sono, obviously, uh, but not really knowing what's going on as you run upstairs to We just have FB on each of our shoulders. Oh, I figured that was full on like, potato, yeah. potato bag on my shoulder. Oh, you still have? Yeah. <laughs> as you uh, run upstairs to Atka's office. Uh, so she has her own, like, office attached to her bedroom and she's in there, uh, sitting at a desk with with glasses kind of around her face as she turns and looks at you as you walk in she's like, uh, oh god what what happened i like i i have like fb on my shoulder like that and then he i go sheepishly you uh you have a minute or two oh my god oh, put god. him down Adka, can you deal with him he's like not responsive sure, yeah put him right on the floor I, uh, and I as you try to drop him like nice, but he, go he goes like, Toomp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily it's a, it's a very plush, uh, very plush rug that you drop him onto. Um, shag, it's like, you know, yeah, very, yeah, yeah. uh, as she goes over to this basin of water next to the desk and takes it over and starts, uh, you know, waving her hands over him in a water bendy healy kind of way. God, what happened? This is... This isn't good. You... You don't want to know. We failed is what happened. Couldn't even find a freaking van. I didn't can you, know... Can you make sure I didn't know there was a... I didn't know there was a... A, a match today. I, can, I just need you to make sure there's no burn marks on him or anything. There are definitely burn marks on him. Okay, can you... Ointments, water, uh, ice. I, I'm I'm doing it now. 
Uh, this is going to take some time. That was so stupid of them. Well, you hit them where it hurts. Next time we come over there, there it'll be a different story. Rasmus. I kind of turn to Aka and then I turn back to Rasmus. We are talking about the tree ahead right now. Are you serious? There's not going to be a next time. We weren't even supposed to confront them. These guys aren't a real triad. They're like, I don't know. They're like, they don't know what they're doing. They're running freaking eel prom. We set a building on fire with civilians inside. They Innocent all got out. It's people. fine. God, how can you not realize what, what just happened? Just... I'll, I'll be outside. Take care of him. And Raz will storm out. Did I affect you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm already angry and insecure. So. Yeah, me too. And that's why I said what I said. <laughs> um, yeah, as, uh, as Rasmus walks out, Atka says to you, Sono, did you say the triads? No, what I said triad, but that's because I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> I was just, I was, I was going with it, you know. I, when I was a child, I used to ride my tricycle around. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that trick. That's gonna help me out. <laughs> um, what, what have you, what have you gotten into? I didn't think you were into any of that uh, kind of stuff. Atka, I'm not. I, I. Listen, Jetson, Jetson's equipment got stolen, and at first I thought we were just going to find his stupid van and dumped in a stupid alley with no danger, but stupidly enough, the alley was very dangerous, and these two idiots made it so much worse than it had to be. Oh, I, I think he's waking up. Make sure he stays hydrated, and I also leave without saying anything to Effie. Uh, Aka, what what happened? How did I? Listen, don't talk too much. You've never been that good at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're Sounds right. like you guys really got into some stuff today. Do you know, and I'll pull out the thing, the circuit thing. Do you know what this is? Let me roll a history check. <laughs> oh. uh, Do you know anyone that would? Uh, she looks at it for a minute, uh, and she says, uh, I don't know, I've never... I don't know too much about this technological this stuff. Sorry. Uh, but maybe maybe I can point you towards someone that does. Whose NPC from whose past is going to get dig up, huh? It doesn't I mean, it doesn't make any sense. They they didn't want any of our stuff. They they just wanted the, the... I don't know what they're moving, but... Whatever it is... I think this is tied into it somehow. Hey. FB? Yeah. Did you hear that Jetson's car got stolen? Yeah. Easy stuff happening. Um, let's end the scene there. Uh, 
So, you guys tell me how you would like to proceed from here, because I think you're all fairly messed up. Yeah, I need to rest. You're muted, uh, Andre. Yeah, four fatigue and two conditions over here. Yeah. Um, and I, I will give you the heads up in the future that, you know, you have the chance in those kind of scenes to do things like, uh, what's it called? Like guide and comfort to help each other overcome some of those conditions and fatigue. No, we'd rather um, argue, by the way. I did not well, click that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, we're both angry and insecure, and I'm way further towards force than care, so... I don't know if I'm comforting anyone. I mean, I know what I I know what I would do after this, but I mean, Sono is still outside. I think she would just she just needed air. So if you want to see where they talk, it can happen. Well, I I kind of want to hand wave and move forward a little bit, uh, and we'll take a quick break. But let's let's plan what we're gonna do when we come back, so we can get right into it first. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, based on her connections. Like with the theory of her family's connections, she's able to send you towards someone that might know what this circuitry is. Right? Uh, she's gonna be able to send you towards someone that's pretty technologically savvy. Um would you be going there like the next day, probably? Like take a day to Yeah, I I don't think today is like I think we're probably done for the day. I am. Okay, I think... Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. Um, I know where I'd want to go next, but I don't know if that has anything to do with what this thing is. So... Okay. Where were you thinking? Just so we can set up where our next is going to be. I think after that, I think FB is um, feeling not great about, like, just how that fight went in general and just not being able to do a lot. Um, so I think he's he's going to become an air acolyte. acolyte. It's going to just like that, eh? Well, I mean, the, my career is over. All our all our stuff's destroyed, and you know the nomad bending league's going to going to collapse. So I don't think I have. Dude, I don't think I have. Raz another can option. buy you all new stuff. I'm not consulting Raz. You guys left me. I'm done. I mean, that's it. Like. <laughs> You walked away. You walked away, man. I don't know. What do you want me to do? I mean, I was still outside the building. I was outside the door. I literally didn't even. I left. The I, I mean, hey, I did. that's that's what I. I'm saying that's what I would do at this point. Like I, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna seek actual. I think I'm gonna try to seek actual training for my for my airbending. Okay, so we can sure. definitely do. Uh, we can definitely do a scene at Air Temple Island. I like that. Uh This, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say the next scene we do, m maybe we'll, if, um, will be FB going to Air Temple Island to seek training from the airbenders. Uh, Rasmus and Sono, think about what your next scene might be, because I'd like to do like a, maybe a split. Before yeah. uh, and then I'll just say there is someone for you to go see about the technology piece when you are ready to do so. Cool. Right, I'm going to go see Samuel when we're back. Oh, maybe we're going to do individual, a few individuals. Okay, I was cool. going to say, I think uh, I'm going to speak with Atka. So we all have yeah, like this. Let's, let's do, let's do that. Um, and first we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we'll be back in like five minutes. You know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and follow. <laughs> All, all that, that cool stuff. all that stuff that people on the internet are supposed to say. So there you go. Uh, Don't cool. move. Thank we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. Check out the. What do we got going during the break? Is it art? The art. For this one, for this game too, it's yeah. art. Check out the art. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> See you in five. Welcome back. <laughs> uh So, we are going to do a little bit of the next day. Uh, stuff with each of you, feel, you know, feeling all your feelings uh, and having separated 
into three different ones. I think we decided we're going to do a scene with each of you individually. Ah, uh, because you all have your individual motives, directions that you're taking as well. Uh, who would like to go first? Let's roll. Let's roll for it. Yeah, we got to roll. Yeah. Uh, roll just two d six. Just roll two d six. Yes. Ooh, oh, okay. I'm finally, last for the like, <laughs> first time ever. <laughs> uh, FB Sono and then Erasmus. So FB, I think you had said you wanted to go to Air Temple Island. Correct. Yes. Let me. I don't know how much time is passing, but like at some point in the next few days, yeah, probably right? the next a, a couple days after you've you know you can stand up without wincing too much. Uh let me see. Let me let me open to my Air Temple Island page. Uh, actually, I don't think there is an Air Temple page. I think it's just part of the really okay. that's surprising to me. Well, it's part of the. It's not its own district. Air Temple Island is just. Ooh, why why is this such creepy that's music? Yeah, it's very eerie. scary. Air Temple Island called... is not haunted. It's abandoned. Yeah. It's decrepit. It's crumbling. It's, it's just called Biodome. Wait, it's crumbling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> it's inhabited by evil spirits. And computer yeah. technology. <laughs> I'm I'm going with it. Okay. Uh out past the bay. Right, yes. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, out out on UA Bay, looking towards the sea, with a giant statue of a past Avatar, Avatar Aang, who helped make Republic City what it is. This huge statue of him standing, holding a staff towards the city, protecting and leading it. How do you make your way out there? FB. How did you how did you get to the island? Um I would attempt to like so I don't know enough about that I assume it's is it, it's still inhabited at this during this time, right? Yeah, definitely. There are there are there's an air bending there are air benders there. There are air acolytes who are air acolytes are non benders. Could I hop like, aboard like a grocery ship or something like a boat that'll bring like food or something to the island or something? Sure. No, that's probably what I try to do. Yeah, uh and I think if you you chatted with Jetson, who, who like kind of told you how to get out there. Remember, he used to be an air acolyte. He kind of gave up those ways and not ready to go back yet. Just uh, although he's not very happy that both his vehicle and all the goods that were on it are gone. Uh, but he said you are best off going there and talking to. Um, I don't know. Give me a name. Give me a name. I don't have my name page pulled up. I mean, Dang. like a ma I guess like a one of the masters there. If, I don't know how many there are, but yeah. Who? Uh, um, I'm just trying to think of any names from Avatar. Well, I guess who who's in charge there? Like who's who runs it? Who runs the um, charge place? Well. Uh, Kenzin is definitely the person fully in charge, but he has he's not there currently, right? He's often about. There are uh, many masters, many of whom are kind of off doing other things. Uh, Kenzin's daughter. Uh, I almost forgot her name. Literally, I have a cat named that sitting on my chair over there. Uh, Jinora is also doing a lot with the Air Nomads as she's traveling around uh, the world. Uh, I think the master that greets you there uh, is Master Yara. She is older. Um, and as you kind of get off this ship thinking the people that brought you here and walk towards uh, this courtyard in front of the temple, um, Master Yara greets you. And I think you, you don't know her, but you, like, in instinct instinctively know, like, you know, word was sent ahead that you would be coming. And she's just in these air nomad um, robes with her hands folded together and just this bright 
welcoming smile on her face. As she says, Ah, you must be FB? Miguel, it is so good to meet you. Can I ask? And I don't mean to be rude. I ask this of all airbenders that we Were you born with the gift, or did it come about during harmonic convergence? myself came about my powers after harmonic convert. I did have the benefit, however, of having been an air acolyte from a very young age. I knew the history of nomads, their society, their philosophy. And when I became an airbender myself, I left. I left to wander the world a while. We can teach you here. Yeah. We can teach you techniques. Teach you philosophy. But much like the path that your father put, this path be a bit on rails. It leads you in a very specific way. I say this all to ask, is this what you want? Is this path the nomad the way you wish to walk through? My my friend Jetson studied here. He did. And uh, forgive me, Master, but you guys didn't prepare him for the real world. He's a chump. He's a, a laughing stock. He's taken advantage of by everyone he knows. And he's not ready for the world. And I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And I, I'm not ready to... I'm not, I can't be the person I want to be until I know how to use the power I have. And who do you want to be? The hero. 
What else? I've seen many people in this world want to be heroes. Avatar Korra is a hero. She saved this city and the world quite a few times now. The last time she saved it was from Kuvira. Kuvira also wanted to be here. Miguel, you may want to think about why to be here and what kind of hero. You should sit and meditate on this. Look out into the ocean. It's one of my favorite spots. And with that, she just turns and uh, having having gestured towards the open waters to you, she goes back inside the temple. I would uh, I would go. I would follow her advice and I would, I would go to that spot. Let's jump over to. I believe it is Sono. That's me. Next. Before we jump into like scene specific, yeah. What about fatigue? Uh, I'm putting that to the side for now because okay. I think we're. I mean, unless someone's getting into fighting, I kind of want to see like how much of a time jump we want to do before you guys get together before we decide how much fatigue is getting clear. And one more thing, don't worry, guys. I have three conditions under my name right now, and I intend on sitting on most of them. But I I saw that when you're angry. You can lash out at a friend to make it better, and I feel like that's what I did with Rasmus. Fair enough. And I feel like it makes sense for me to feel guilty and troubled, but angry, I feel like Sona would calm herself down pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, that sounds fine to me. All right. I think you guys had a, a bit of an exchange. So, I think... I think for, for Sono as well, it would have been like maybe a day at least. But she would have went back to see Adka because she's a bit of a a comfort zone for her. She's suiting to her. Okay. Um, let's say you met Adka. Sorry, what is it called? She is in Cranefish Town. Uh, and right by the opera house where her parents, um, you know, do a lot of their patronage, that sort of thing, uh, is this wonderful little uh, tourist spot, uh, but also a local favorite, uh, Best Ramen. Nice. It's in the book, guys. It's in the book. Uh, so I think you go to this. Um, this. Uh, pretty large, very popular and full ramen house where you sit um, kind of at the counter having ordered uh, next to Sono, who who tries to keep a smile on her, even though she is that you're a bit troubled. But I think she she's good at kind of letting you come around and talk about it in your own time. Uh, so for now, she's just kind of, um, you know, like moving food around and. <laughs> Uh, slurping noodles. I think uh, um, I think Sono is using her chopsticks to like move things around, but she's not really touching her food. And then she she sighs, <sighs> and she gives up. She put the chopsticks away and she turns fully towards Atka, like full on switches the chair around and everything to face her. Are you gonna eat your egg? You can you can have it. Mm -hmm. Hell oh. So I I figured I might. Owe you an explanation for dropping an unconscious man on your floor the other day? Yeah. Uh, FB's a friend, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I did have to, like, you know, cleaning blood out of shag isn't the easiest thing. <laughs> so, um, like I said, Jetson's van and all of the wrestling bending equipment was stolen. 
and it led us to the pentagrams, if you're familiar with them or not. Most people don't seem to be. They're a triad, apparently, part of it. And uh, I, I don't know, Atka, I, I generally thought we were going to be in and out, just see if the van was there even, but then things got messy, FB got involved with them, and next thing you know, they... And she lowers her voice. Atka, they set the whole building on fire. There were still clients inside. She kind of like gives a napkin and <laughs> does some of this with the dribbles on her chin. Sona. Do you want to hear this for real? Of course I do. I mean, you've made a lot of strides. You've changed a lot since you used to. Since pro bending days. And I think for the better, but that part of you is still there. Let me just. Not for nothing. So, no, if there was a fire, I don't think it was the airbender or the guy with sticks that started it. Aka, I know that's part of the problem. I. Listen. F FB was in a rough spot, or seemed to be, and then Rasmus and his big ego wanted to get involved, and I just looked at these two idiots, and I figured I I'd have to do something to help them, protect them, I and the, the trash was laying around, and I figured I would just, like, light them on fire so that I would make it harder for the triads to, to do anything, but I... I the, then they threw the trash inside the restaurant, and, and FB decided to to push some butter into it, and butter is flammable. <laughs> and I, I didn't plan for any of it to escalate this quickly, but I, I can't help but feel responsible because I started it. Because fire is always what starts it, and who, kn who, who would have thought I'm the one that bends fire around here? So no. When you get into the thick of things, I've seen what it what it does to you. You get this, this look in your eye. I mean, and then you start to do like those like poses and like gestures and things that you think make. I mean, and don't get me wrong, like they look cool, but. <laughs> so no, you were fighting the triad. A triad? I don't know how that works. But when you get into that mode, you just. It's like you just want to win. Sometimes. To protect people, you just get to cut your losses and. Or retreat tactically. I mean, I don't know how you're gonna say it to make you feel better, but like, so if eight guys with weird leather vests, crabs on them, came at me, like most people don't go towards that, and and when they see their friends getting hurt, most people want to get out. You have me just leave them to the wolves? I, you know how FB is. Has he ever no. even won a tournament? He, he, you can... You can get your friends out, too. What I'm saying is, when you get in that mode, Sono, it, it's I know. like you're out of control. Oh, and I know this is something you've been working on, but... Is she it can be body? scary sometimes. Yeah, she's gonna. She's attempting. Uh, she's calling out your. Uh, she's calling you out on your balance. Uh, so and she's attempting. Work. She's attempting to shift your balance towards control. So 
So you can move it, or you can try to uh, resist. So can I give you what I would answer her, and you tell me what it does to my balance? Because I'm not sure how my answers reflects the balance. The yeah, okay. 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 I think I'm going to say... You're right. I started the fire. It was my job to keep it under control, and I didn't. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to blame Rasmus and FB for it. It was my fault, and I, I should have known better. Yeah, I think you're accepting what she's saying. So, uh, move your balance one place towards control. Da da. Oh, also, uh, before we continue this roleplay, can I? Can I accept my growth? Cause well, I... it's not do it in the middle of a scene, but yeah, we can okay. do that okay, after. after this. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think that's... So no, I think it's really good that you're able to see that. I, I worry. I mean... And you're strong enough to get FB out. What if it had been you that was taken down? Me? You know me better than that. These are dangerous people. They stole Jetson's ugly, weird truck. I mean, how do you drive that thing around the city and nobody knows? I've been up to because I know I know Rasmus was obsessed with this van and and I don't know what happened with FB after I left but. yeah I talked with Jetson he's pretty bummed about the equipment he said FB was gonna take a trip out to Temple Island talk to one of the masters out there I I haven't heard anything about Rasmus though dot 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 transition <laughs> I'm, you're welcome oh, beautiful work guys uh can we uh do you want to let's do ras let yeah okay. let's do rasmus's scene and then we'll kind of do the uh mechanical parts perfect perfect stuff. yeah uh where were you going rasmus um so the night of ras just waiting um around no one comes to talk to him so he just takes his bike home um crashes and the next day thinks about going to jetson calling jetson and then just mentally goes through the process of telling jetson that he failed to secure the van and that just seems way too difficult to do so he decides to instead focus on what's currently pissing him off which is that Sam Lowe's technique uh, doesn't feel right yet. It's too hard to use. It takes too much effort. It's looking for the right opening is too difficult. So he'll head out to Sam Lowe's place. Okay. Uh, Rasmus pulls up to Sam Lowe's. Again, the middle of the day um, with this kind of half-size chain link fit fence uh, that you open. You hear a dog bark. You hear a, a I don't know a dog giraffe. Bar I can't just say dog. Some sort of dog. It's a turtle dog. It's a turtle dog. It's a turtle dog barking. Or tortoise. Uh, barking down the street. Uh, as you open it, you hear the sounds of factory door um, that somehow once you go and open the door and enter close you in Samuel's house, all of that becomes the quietest din outside. Uh, I think you have a key to Sam Lowe's. I think you let yourself in. I find Sam Lowe sitting on uh, his couch, kind of like frumpy, like crumpled up, uh, reading a, the daily newspaper. And somebody takes it, he throws it down at the coffee table in the middle. 
So, how are things going? Well, I'm back. I did what you asked. Have a seat. He'll stomp in and just plop down into the chair. So you tried it. I did. I mean, got into a fight. Bigger guy, surrounded by his people. And it worked. I took his arm out. And... It's against a group. What? Like, I'm fighting with these two benders, right? And that's something I can't do. And the whole point of this is to equalize what we can do. And th they're not even, like, using their gift. So, what? Do I even need this? Like, what am I doing? Come a time when a bender comes at you. Might be some thug on the street. Might be that young that was back at the academy. Let me ask you in this group, leader. Am I the leader? No, the one you were fighting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's. It was the panda crabs that you told us about. We went looking for the van. Van wasn't outside. We went in to try to get some intel. FB gets into some BS in the kitchen. We have to go save his ass. And then a huge fight breaks out. And this chef guy, man, I had him one on one for a minute. Probably could have taken him out too. I had his right arm immobilized. But then later in the fray, it's like, I could have used it again. And I'm thinking, okay, so I'll take two guys' arms out, and then there's six left. If you're fighting a group, you, you can't overwhelm them with strength. That's thinking like one of the benders. Think about it. Ten guys come out of Bender. They sh shove fire in their face. That'll back everyone off, right? Yeah. We have to think smarter. If there are ten guys in a group, nine of them look up to one guy. Chi blocking can be useful to save your life to take guys out, but it can also be an embarrassment. You can take these benders and all their power, crumple them on the ground. Let everyone else see it. Yeah, and that's what I should have done, man. I didn't even, as soon as that encounter with the, sh the chef, the leader was over, I just forgot about him and just focused on the two chumps in front of me. You set your sight on a goal. Push towards that goal. You don't let yourself get thrown left, thrown right. You have to stay forward. You find the leader. You put him on the ground. So here's a couple things he's doing right. He's actually I'm gonna, I'm going to do two things. One of them is he's going to he is giving you your mastery condition for mastering this technique, which I will uh, lay out for you. It's a little bit of a, it's not an easy one to do, right? Good. But he's also attempting to shift your balance towards force and away from care. Ooh. Cause yeah, cause Samlo is not like, his philosophy is not a careful, so it is up to you if you want to uh, accept that shift or if you would like to resist. Uh, I don't have a reason to resist at the moment. Sure. All right. You what move. I wanted to achieve was not achieved. 
the focus of the group was not on what I wanted to focus on, and we left defeated in Rasmus's opinion. All right. So you're accepting uh, Sam Lowe's advice that the way to overcome that next time is give in to force <laughs> and put care aside. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. Uh, and the mastery condition for you is you need to use the chi block technique on a leader. Not necessarily like not necessarily of you don't you don't have to do it fighting like but someone that's in a leader position and you have to take out two limbs. Which means you have to use it a second time before the first one, you know, dissipates. Yes. So that is the mastery condition. You have to do that to embarrass this leader in front of others. Fantastic. Um, okay. Before we go all together, I, f I realized when I was doing, uh, Sonos and Rasmuses that I did a thing, but I, sh I should have, well, I guess we'll do this as like the coda at the end of these, like by yourself things, uh, where the master returns to you and sees how your meditation went and also probably tries to shift your balance or some shit. <laughs> I, d I didn't touch any of the mechanically, uh, things. Uh, so after a while, and, and it really is like a while. You're given some time out here, FB, um, on the island, staring out at the sea, listening to the gulls overhead, the lapping of waves. And then Master Yara comes back. Calm as before, pleasant, bright smile. Uh, and she comes and she sits down next to you. Just crisscross applesauce, back straight. Uh, not looking at you at all, just looking out on this parallel. Says, so, Miguel, what sort of hero do you want to be? She turns to you as she's saying, turns to face, looks you right in the eyes. Sorry, Matt, you're cutting, your audio's cutting out. I can't oh. really hear what you're saying. I'll try to talk. Maybe I'm talking too quietly. She, she's talking quietly, but maybe I don't want to. Uh, um, you don't need to save the world. We've all had here. That am I still going in now? It's okay. I'm testing my out. My red lip reading skills are good, though. I can <laughs> yeah, you honestly, that. yeah. Mine suck. I have no idea what to say. Son of a bee sting. How am I sounding now? Is Great, it amazing. Okay, I can't hear you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like you started off, I could hear you, and then like yeah. at, towards the end of every phrase, like you cut, like you were like going to. I think you know, I think I've got it now. Okay. Technology. Uh, we've all had heroes in our lives that touch us and 
ways that change us for the better just from having known these people. It is your connection to the people in your life that will give you the strength that you need. Don't forget that. I won't. And when I've when I become that person Uh, she is she is attempting to to um shift your balance towards loyalty i will accept that uh and then she will she will offer you know she doesn't know how how you're how into this you are but she'll offer to give you a hug oh. i'll accept that as well Aww. and i think at i at this point i i i Kind of break down a little bit, um, and I just—I'm just so. I'm just so ashamed. Don't. We all have time now. Just make sure. You don't keep the mask on all the time, especially in front of you. Thank you, Master. How long do we think it is before you guys come back together? I would say under a week, but more than a day. Yeah, like a, a few days, you kind of like. Sounds like a D6 roll to me. You're right. <laughs> Somebody roll a. D6 roll a... plus two, I would say. <laughs> Minimum three. That defeats the purpose. <laughs> that is an eight, <laughs> which is more than a week. Yeah, let's just go with six. All right. Let's just go with the. <laughs> I was confused by that. Yeah. I didn't want it to be one, you know? That would have been a bad yeah. result. Uh. With that many days going by, with people like working on their self care in their own homes for that long, I think you guys can clear five fatigue. Yeah. But don't clear any conditions. Mm -hmm. Those are going to kind of ride. And like, like Mike said, we want them to inform the story in our character. Um,. We don't need to like meet up and plan and everything. I, I really try to set this game a little differently than when we played Dean. You cut out. Cutting out, man. Yeah. <laughs> Might be yeah, so it's weird because it wasn't happening at all before. Yeah. I feel like it just started happening now. Weird, guys. Sorry. I know it's fine. I just, I'm just like, not sure how to fix it. Yeah. It. I think. There's I feel like all night it was fine, and then even after the break, it was okay. Like, I think there's something just... wrong with this wire. I'm doing okay now. Which yeah. wristwatches yeah. are Swiss wristwatches? Yeah, like... The lips, the teeth, the dip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the dip of the tongue. Um, good. Yeah, I think the wires can loose. Um, so we're setting up a scene. How do we want to set this up? Are you are you meeting at a place, or, or is are you going to see? Yeah, I'm gonna go see Jetson. I think. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Jetson's, uh, where the hell does Jetson live? It's not nice, right? Where... <laughs> we were promised pizza, which we never got. You Did guys we never went it? back for the pizza. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have a van to return. And as a matter of fact, as you get back to the house, there's like three full pizza boxes sitting outside, like next to the trash. because The trash is too full because he forgets to put it out. Uh, he, he often forgets to put it out. Wait, so are we all at Jetsons? Is that what's happening? I mean, I think that would make sense, but it's up to you guys. I mean, I, that's where I think I would go after that conversation with... Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah you're all in Jetson's living room, which is definitely unadorned. Um, he has like a cot on the ground and like a small table. It's not really a table, right? It's like, it's like bowing in the middle. Like it's just like um, particle board, like put up on some stuff on the outside and sit around. It's kind of like the like a Japanese kind of table where like there's some like old rugs around it, not even really like cushions uh, as such. Um, and he makes tea in this old teapot. Uh, and as you get around, he pours for each of you, having let it steeped. Uh, and what you're drinking out of are, like, tin cans, oh right? God. That have been, like, cleaned out. Uh, and you sip it, and the tea is immaculate. Mm. Delicious. Made like it's been poured by a master. Uh, and... As you're all sitting there, after pour, after going through like this, making the tea and pouring it and giving it, letting everyone take a sip before he takes his own, he takes a nice big sip himself and says, "Well, it's really good to see you guys. You know, I'm still kind of bummed about all this stuff, but man, triads. I, I guess they just don't like pro bending." Went yeah, to the they, charge. they just wanted the van. Oh. Think so? So do they just like really like vans? Or they need one, perhaps? Could be. You said there was a lot of them. Maybe they just needed something big enough to all ride around in together? Yeah, there was eight of them and they weren't doing too hot, as far as triads go. So, could be that they just needed transport. Yeah, I I get that. Well, hey, you know, I <laughs> we built this all out of nothing once. Well, not really nothing. I mean, when I left, the Air Temple did give me some cash. And I, I spent all of that now. Uh, and the pizza place said like not to go back there anymore so you don't have a job anymore yeah I don't think so I don't I don't think so they said that I didn't need to go back there and I said it doesn't make sense if they were paying me and I didn't go back but I don't think they're going to pay me Is that their van that got stolen? No, no, it was mine. Uh, I think now that I don't have it, um, I think I think they really liked that I had that van. Oh, shit. And I've been not so on time uh, running to bring pizzas places. <laughs> so, yeah. It's okay, Jetson. We're going to we'll find your van. I mean, that'd be that'd be great. Uh, how are you gonna do that? Yeah, B, how are we gonna do that? You gotta figure out where they relocated to, or if they saved the place, and then we gotta go in there and pull that chef out and beat him in front of everyone. Am I the only one who's hearing how crazy that sounds? No, I, I'm hearing it. I, listen, I I fucked up. Okay, I, I should have never gotten involved that deep with them. I just thought that. I thought I could talk my way out of it, and I couldn't, and uh, I was wrong, and I'm sorry for what happened. The fire's my fault. It, sh it shouldn't have been there in the first place. I... I don't think it was your fault, Sono. The fire was great! What are you talking about? That's what gave us the upper hand. They cared about their stupid shop. The fire endangered more than 20 civilians who had done nothing wrong. Rasmus, do you not realize we were in a public space where innocent people were living their day-to-day -day life? These are triads. It's on them. Their choice to have a front. Their choice to steal the van. They're getting what's coming to them. Uh, Jetson starts 
refilling everyone's tea, like freshening and. And freshening why is this so good, Jetson? How the hell are you? Where'd you learn to brew? Uh, Rasmus, I. I used to be really bad at brewing tea. Uh, Master Yara, back when she was just acolyte Yara, she uh, she really let me have it. Uh, whenever it was my turn to make tea at the temple, um, I, a lot of people rolled their eyes. And, you know, I, I tried a lot of different things. I tried adding more or less heat, letting it steep for more or less time, more or less... Um, more or less tea leaves and different things you add to it. Is there a moral and to the I, story? I messed up a lot. And the more I messed up, the more mistakes I made, the more I learned. And and now I'm able to serve my friends this tea. Which I think is pretty good. Sometimes when Sometimes when we mess up, I mean, that's how we learn, right? Yeah. Listen, I, all I know is this is our opportunity to get thicker mats to put around the ring for when people fall. Better ropes. Ropes are really expensive. Um, Don't worry about the ropes. We probably have a ton in some warehouse lying around that nobody needs. I mean, we're shipping for God's sake. You need ropes on ships all the time. Mats will buy, but uh, I don't know. I have a lead. Okay, I know where we can f where we can start to find the van. Why didn't you s w tell us? Because I had to. F <laughs> I had to figure some stuff out first. Well, well, what is it? It's this here. Uh, I found this in the dumpster. Can you remind me what I see? I don't. I. I think I missed. The you know when you smash a computer open with a hammer. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Is it like the motherboard? <laughs> you didn't do that, Eve? You never found no, a I, I, I paid for mine, so I, I usually treat oh. it with care. You're telling me you never smashed a computer over there. Well, we gotta get you to look for your <laughs> That was such a 90s kid thing, were, dude. Like, were, you never, were you never an 11 year old boy in the 90s? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, yes, sorry. Yeah, well, I missed out. I all missed three out. of us have had this out. experience. Damn. It's a green thing with other little pieces of metal on it. Okay, it's a motherboard. Technically. It's probably circuit board. Circuit board. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. I, anyway, I showed it to Attica and she didn't know what to make of it, but she told me about somebody who did or who would. Well, that's great. Well, yeah, I mean, why would they have that in their dumpster as an eel prong place? Like, let's, let's figure it out. I think they gotta be trying to move something with, with Jetson's van. Well, hope we're not too late. So who's this, uh, connect? I'm gonna open my mouth, and the next name Matt says is gonna come out of FP's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi, it's... Yeah, as, <laughs> as you open your mouth, uh, we transition. The camera pans in now to the downtown portion of um, downtown portion of the city. Uh, high rises all around. Uh, we, we zoom in as if a first person camera sped up. Going through the front doors opened by the doorman, going up to the elevator, pressing the button, and then going, oh crap, pressing the other button, uh, and, and eventually making your way up the penthouse of Future Industries headquarters. And the door opens. Whoosh, and sitting there 
behind a desk uh, as the elevator opens. Uh, you hear a voice say, I'll be with you in just a minute. As in front of you sits Asami Sato, CEO of Future Industries and Paramour of Avatar Korra. What? Spoilers, bro. I've only seen season one. That's all right. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta read the comics for the. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Um, I just got a lot of info. Uh, a girl in her twenties, long black hair, uh, dressed in very fine clothes, but not terribly adorned, right? Like well made, but um, and and cuts quite a figure in any room, especially here with this big window behind her looking out uh, from quite a height at the rest of the downtown portion of Republic City. Uh, Asami Sato finishes what she's finishing signing with a big flourish, this contract in front of her. Um, she says, oh, uh, hey guys, come on in. Oh, I was glad you were able to come. Uh, yeah, I heard from Atka that you guys wanted to see me. I was glad I was able to make time. Sono stands behind FB and the uh, Erasmus. Sure. Yeah, she's sitting at this big wooden desk that's rather clean, right? Except for this big contract thing, like a quilled ink that's um, right there to the side. Uh, she has some like ink smudges on her hands, like she's been working. Um, you know, hard at work all day. Uh, there's some things around this office. There's like paintings that you know could, um, you know, uh, this one painting hanging on the wall could definitely pay for uh, all of the pro bending stuff that you need just as it is. Uh, there's a prototype um, old version, you can tell, of this electricity glove, right, that Equalists back in the day also used for uh, fighting, but it, it's an old, kind of outdated Aaron. Um, says, uh, yeah, so, uh, what did you want me to, what, what can I help you with? You into looking to buy some tech? Um, no, um, no, Miss, um, President, sorry, so I don't know what, how should I address? No, don't worry, uh, you can just call me a, uh, what can I call each of you? I'm Rasmus Lee. You can call me Rasmus. Lee. Oh, are, are you the Lee family that does uh, shipping out of the bay? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, great. We we often have shipments come in with you when they're coming yes, from you do. the northern uh, border tribe. Oh, good to meet you. Uh, I, I think I'm more too. familiar with your... Cousin? Brother? Bashira, my brother. Yes, yes, Bashira. Your brother, I see. I'm, uh, I'm FB, uh, Flying Bison. She, she does not seem to register a, uh, <laughs> recognition of that, but she, she nods politely and is like, oh, nice to meet you. I, I nod politely and I, I just say so no. Oh, are you, are you Sono the Firebender? Um, I mean, other Firebender might have the same name as me. Uh, but the 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 Pro Bender, Sono, right? I I caught some of your matches. I haven't been able to get down to see any matches in, in some time now. But yeah, you were you were really good. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I watched you knock my ex boyfriend right out of the ring one time. My pleasure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is great. Uh, what can I do to help? Um, I found this um, at the bottom of a dumpster behind a prone shop, and I pull out the object. And I put it on her, like, her hand it to her. Oh. <laughs> she really looks at it as if you said you found it in a dumpster by a prawn shop. She kind of looks at it. Um. Okay. It, it, it's it's not as 
I mean, like, there's no reason for them to have had this. And they kind of stole our friend's van. And we were trying to find it and found this. Why would this be in the dumpster of a prawn shop is what we're trying to figure out. Oh, oh, got you. You're trying to... I... I, I get it. Okay. Uh, and she opens a drawer and she puts on these, like... Right? And, and takes out some, like, metal... Fine metal tools and these, like, uh, big glasses that she kind of <laughs> like has like other glass that goes in front of it she said like, let me take a look and she she pulls it over and she starts kind of like like bending some of the things to kind of see underneath that weird this is this is pretty advanced tech pretty contemporary stuff what's its purpose what does it do just this little piece I, it's hard to tell exactly what it was actually to do how it fit into a larger system but yeah this is this is definitely makwa's it's what it, it doesn't ring a bell she takes those glasses off makwa's Ma yeah uh yeah makwa tech a, a, a new kind of startup, uh, you know, not not, I guess a uh, a new coming competitor for uh, future industries and Cabbage Corp. Uh, a little bit. They they've been buying up some of our old uh, future industries plants that are that are a bit outdated and doing a lot of renovation. They've been pumping a lot of money into it. Can I can I roll something to see if she knows more than she's letting on about this? Like, I don't know if that's a situation or Um Do I think that I guess I'm trying to figure out like is she being forthcoming with us about the situation as much as she could be? Or is she holding something back? Sure, I can see different ways of you doing that. Uh what well, what are you doing to try to to try to find out? Like, are you are you are you pushing her for more? How are you pushing her for more information? I don't think I'm pushing her for more information. I think I'm trying to read, um, Got you. her tone, her body language. Just like, mm -hmm. is it? Does it feel like she's? I guess I have no reason to think she would be, but yeah. Um, I guess the the I that 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 she doesn't know what it's for. I don't believe she doesn't know what it's for. Sure. Um, and I would think, is it fair to say, like, you might ask a question about that? Like, oh, you really, you don't know what kind of... Well, I, I would say, like, um... So, what if... Maqua Tech, what do they make? Oh, so they make... a lot of different... types of... things. Uh... Really, they're, I guess, a, sp they use a spray and pray kind of method. Uh, it, it, it's not the best uh, business model. Actually, um, kind of what they do is uh, look at the things that we are rolling out, us in, in Cabbage Corp as well, uh, and really try to, like, replicate it. Uh, they, they put a lot of money into their marketing department then try to, like, Marriage our products and make theirs sound better. Uh, they they make a lot of the same things as we do. Um, so what is uh, this trying to replicate that you make? This one, it's hard to say. It's for some sort of bigger machinery. So this is just a small uh, circuit board that takes information from one part of the machinery and uh, redistributes it. it, it it's a fairly... Um, it's a newer way to do it, but it's not the craziest thing. It's but um, something bigger. It could be for a, a large crane. It could be for a vehicle of some some kind. It could be for a warehouse mech suit. I know they've been really trying to get that kind of business. I think. Um, well, if they haven't yet, I'm sure they'll 
try selling some of their are stuff they, to your brother Bashira soon. Are they tied in with the triads at all? Triads? Why do you ask? Well, that's where we found it. I mean, it was in the dumpster behind a front for some two-bit wannabe triads called the Pandacraft. Hmm. Let me ask. Uh, and she pulls up, I don't know, an avatar phone. I don't know I what imagine, a phone I imagine a hologram popping. Literally, I just imagine like a star yeah. for some reason. It's pseudo steampunkish. Uh, so she pulls up this rotary phone and ding, ding, and it takes for and she goes, damn it, I messed it up. And she hangs up and has to redial the rotary. Uh, See, happens to the best of us. She holds it up. Hey, uh, Mako, it's Asami. Uh, are you alone right now? Yeah, uh, no, no, nothing big. We're just wondering. Um, you know that newer operation, uh, uh, Mak Makwatek? No, Mako, I'm not looking for inside information. That's, um, do you have any reason to think that they're connected to one of the I, I'm not saying you should look into it or not. I'm just saying, hey, that's your jurisdiction, buddy. Leave me out of that. Our, yeah, I, yeah, yes, we're, we're all on for dinner later. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye. Hangs up. Um, as far as public city PD is concerned. Uh, no, they don't have a reason to suspect anything. He, he's been pretty above board. Um, so everything seems. I get a, a little worried. You know, even Future Industries doesn't have the greatest history of uh, also being great citizens of Republic City. But, well, if you wanted to know more, they... Their headquarters is downtown. Uh, if you've seen a building that looks exactly like this one, but is about two thirds of the size, uh, that is theirs. Uh, or, you know, recently acquired one of our own old facilities uh, down in Green Meadows. Not sure if you know it, that big plant. We We can probably find it. Well, you know immediately where she's talking about. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the big plant uh, in Green oh, Meadows shit. is right the one right next to Samlo's house. Oh, snap. Who's Samlo again? Uh, Ooh, she's my, like, sensei. Okay. And, oh, right, right. And as she says that, we're going to end our session there. Oh! What? No, I was expecting more! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh. oh my god, is Samuel mixed up with this? What the hell? Oh no! Samuel, your fucking brother's probably mixed up with it too, dude. What the hell? Is, is the You're shadiest so character we've met so far involved with this? Mm. <laughs> 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 the guy that sent us to the place where we found it? Could he have something to do with it? No way. No way. Uh, oh, uh, okay. I I really like this game. Me too. Having a lot of fun. I think, I th again, combat was good. There's some learning and teaching and stuff as we're going. And I think going forward, again, not every not every combat exchange has to end when like a group is taken out, right? So I think, and we did that the first session where we like jumped into something and then it was, you know, like yeah. over. So uh, I'm into that too, but we got to do that. We, we got a legend, one of the actual in the book. This is why it's called Avatar oh. Legends, because there are legends. Look there at, she oh, is. Look at Asami Sato. God, nice. Damn. She uh, you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're doing we're doing the things. We're doing the things that this game has to offer. We're thinking. Co thinking. Using the correct completed rule set <laughs> and not the quick star and then trying to switch over halfway through. <laughs> Very that exciting. doesn't sound like experience. <laughs> doesn't sound like we have that experience, does it? <laughs> uh, Before we leave, we yeah. shouldn't forget about the last step. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let's do that mechanical stuff. Uh, Eve's been dying. I, I want it. I want it right now. Can't, 
handle waiting any longer. She's been dying for What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? Gagging for the growth. Oh, oh, the questions at the end? Okay. (laughs) Well, even before that, uh, Eve's growth filled up during the fight. Yeah. Yeah. So she, before we even do that, Eve can take an advancement. I shall take a new Uh, move from my playbook. I've been eyeing it since the beginning and I won it. Which move are you going to take? It is uh, Mind of Steel. Mm. Does those only take one, though, to fill up? Mine has two boxes oh, next to it. Is that you can how it take works? it twice. You can take. No, you can do that twice. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. So now I oh, go you, back to you're the mute, group. You're muted, Mike. Yeah. So you can choose to take a new two times. Okay. The way that works. So yeah, I, I go with Mind of Steel from my own playbook. Uh, when you advance an attack or evade an observe, fewer conditions marked than your highest principle. You can roll with focus instead of the normal. So does that mean, so if I have zero conditions, that means I can automatically roll with focus, right? But, so let's no. say, wait. The, con- the number of conditions you mark have to be higher, has to be fewer than your principle. So, so like right fine. now, so your principles are control and connection. Yeah. So your con- you have two conditions, but your control is at plus one. That's your highest principle. So, so the number of conditions you have, Mark, have to be below one. One, yeah. But so right if now. I have zero, automatically I can roll with focus. Yes, or you can move further up in your balance. Or I can do that. Right. So, like, if you move, you can. If you go to plus two, plus three, then you can use that technique, even if yeah. you're marking these conditions. Got it. All right. So, like, you asked, why would why would you want to be out of balance? There's one reason. Got it. You know, cool. mechanically, that you might want. Awesome. Out of balance game. I got I got what I wanted out of it. Thanks, guys. See you next week. <laughs> uh, but we have our no our questions. Let me see. I gotta find out what's the end of session. Question. Bro, page two hundred. One personal one. And yep. Then you, let's do the one. all together one. That, that, that's kind of how I've been doing it, so we'll... Uh, at the end of each section, each player answers the following. Did you learn something challenging, exciting, or complicated about the world? I sure did. That. Man, I hope so. It's it's definitely not a Matt Spiel session if we don't do that. That's all I want to do uh, all the time. Yeah, I mean, that reveal at the end was was big. So that hit my growth. I, that was my full one. I, had to, I need only one more. Okay. So you get a... So you get a growth. What do you want to do for your growth? I'm going to take a new move from my playbook as well. Ooh, which move are you taking? I'm taking best friend. I fucking love it. Dude, what, what does best friend do? Sounds amazing. You want to read that for us? Your best friend is small, fuzzy, independable. Unlike all your other relationships, this one is simple and true. You can understand it. Can you get with your small companion? And they'll give you a hard time now and then. You have a familiar in this They are always too? there when you need the most. Whenever your pal could help you push your luck, Mark would take your role with creativity instead of passion. <laughs> If your pride ever gets hurt, mark condition. Oh my god. Uh, That's amazing. Do you want to think on... Why don't you intru- think on it and introduce your best friend next time? Oh yeah, no, I wasn't going to like do that. Yeah, 100%. I, no. I love that. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh so good. Oh, little animals are, are what we need. You need it. Uh, you need it. Stupendous. Uh, okay. Uh, the next growth question for everybody. Did you stop a dangerous threat or solve a community problem? No. You started a community problem. Yeah. Did that? <laughs> and we enraged the dangerous threat. Yeah. The, the uh, I would think probably you did not stop a dangerous threat, I think. Uh, did you guide a character towards balance or end the session at your... I think I'm... No, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> I am my balance. Not. I am a balance right now. Okay. So uh, FB can mark another growth for that. So that's where that guide and comfort can help towards there and then that would be a yes that's right i think that's another reason to like really have the out of out of danger scenes where you're guiding and comforting other that interplay among people i it's, it's another like mechanical push to like do that thing no 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 the game's really made for you to do that thing uh and then you each have your own your own especial questions uh let's st- i'm just going top to bottom so fb what is your um 
top to bottom of my list of um, alphabetical. It's under... Oh, yeah. Okay, Grover. So did you express vulnerability by admitting you were wrong or that you should have listened to someone you ignored? I think you expressed vulnerability, right? In the temple. Yeah. Yeah, I think you definitely admitted you were wrong in that conversation. I think that was... Okay. Yeah. I, I would say... My mind, that's a definite, yeah. Yes. Uh, Rasmus? Did you make progress towards your goal against your adversary? No. Wait, who is your adversary? I don't, do you know, we know who your adversary is? <laughs> His name came up. The It's one of the police sergeants, Sergeant Young. But the cops haven't really seemed to be involved. The first we've had of them was Asami calling some sort of police captain. So I, I'm too busy, man. I can't deal with that shit. Yeah. No growth for you. <laughs> no growth. Two no out growth of four. Roger. I'm never gonna grow. I'm not gonna level up this whole game. Just that wait, you out. didn't level up once yet? No, of course not. I have two it's... out of four checked. Two growths out oh. of four. That's, That's crazy. Two more sessions to go, buddy. You got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even playing for it. You think Rasmus wants to grow? Fuck that. Well, you have That's your wrong. own like you have your own like yeah. master technique journey though, so that's yeah. like cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. my chi is chi blocking is getting better. That's what's important. None of this fucking emotion. You're like your own special. Like, that's a cool little quest you got. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Sono, uh, okay. did you try to make amends for past mistakes or prove you're a different person? Now? Hear me out. I know I said this last week, but hear me out. When I spoke to Ak, uh, I know it didn't sound like I tried to act a different way, but when we were in the fight and they were like, girl, you're out of control. And I was like, oh yeah, no more bending for you, bitches. Yeah, I think that's true. I think there was a point in the yeah. fight even where like you you like stepped back, like you made it a point to like step back, which isn't which is which is proving you're a different person now, yeah. right? I think yeah. that's what it is. It's not you still haven't worked to like make amends yeah. for the no. wrongs in the past, but definitely I think a big part of today's session was uh trying to prove that you're a different Halfway there to my next one. Can I just say, I also, you rolled a 15 in that fight, and I did not think you could roll a number that high in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. I, okay, that's, that's, that's what? Double six is plus three? Double six plus three. Oh, plus two is the max in these stats. There's no, no way you have plus three. No, because one of my moves is called Air Cutting Edge, and it's take plus one focus to a max of plus three. So I nice. have plus three focus right now. Nice. Yeah. No, I yeah, have that's... plus two. It says plus two next to it. I was just like, I, wow, I was like, I, that's rude. I was like, that's crazy. It's like, really nice. like, it's like, but it, it calculated it itself. No, like, it's plus three. It gave her plus, plus three, three based on yeah, yeah, yeah. her character sheet. There There's go. no way it's wrong. Yep. So that's right? why. Yeah. No, no, that's definitely legit. I just didn't realize. I was like, what the fuck? I think you can roll yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, 15 in this game is. Just roll another 14? All right, I'm yeah, done. She just <laughs> randomly rolled another 14. That's, that's, right. Right. that's your problem. Right. Yeah, that's what you get. Uh, we've, we've done our advancements. We have grown together Aww. and as individuals. So. Uh, next week we will see you with A City Apart mm -hmm. our full length D&D campaign yes, sir. Uh, and in two weeks on the it, is that Boxing Day guys is that a holiday in Canada Boxing Day is I, after Christmas isn't it? yeah are we playing the 26th I think we are we play. playing play on Boxing 26th. Day oh yeah. you guys <laughs> Put up. I don't even yeah, know on, boxing. on Boxing <laughs> Day uh, we will be playing this game again so what a nice little um christ mass holiday gift for all of you <laughs> an extra session of avatar legend awesome. from the legends themselves us oh my god uh thank you so much for tuning in thank you for watching you're wonderful well see you next time see you next week bye bye